Season 7, episode 34 of the Pre-Game Podcast. Number one, I got I got to say something, man. This is crazy. When people come back, yeah. that's how you know you're rocking with legends. You actually can hear this voice on every single pregame podcast intro. That's a fact. You know what I mean? Because we're dealing with the champ right now. You know what I'm saying? This Absolutely. is Anthony Sims Jr. You know all part of the intro I'm talking about. Yeah. yeah. He Anthony, says it. You can hear it. It's, it, it. it's crazy. Anthony Sims Jr. is back with the pregame podcast, man. Round of applause for that, man. For sure. The champ is back. Brought the hardware with him. Got the, it, crazy. I appreciate the champ I appreciate is here. And it's heavy the too. Belt is nuts. The champ is here. The champ is here. Stop fucking playing with I'm, me. I'm in that thing. Nap town. For sure, man. Shout out to Naptown as well, man. Listen, Anthony, for those that cannot find you, which is crazy, what's the ad? Where can they find you on social media? On Instagram, you can find me two underscores, The Magician, and on Facebook, Anthony Sims. Okay. You like Facebook, huh? How you? I'm, fuck I'm, with it's it? like Facebook, all like uh, everybody I know from Nap is on Facebook. Yeah. Everybody on Instagram don't follow me because okay. it's like either they trying to keep low key or they just don't use Instagram. Mm, that's, right. a, that's a good perspective. Yeah. Facebook is a scary place. Yeah, I don't dwell there. It's Facebook. spooky, man. I it's love it, man. Hours. It's always some. Damn, I could tell you about. So Facebook this week was this. As far as the people I know on Facebook, this blew up. A young lady said, "This man took me on my first date. Took me to Mexico, and people and people was like, oh, no, you can't do that. That's crazy. That's scary.' And then she turned into like." Oh, y'all niggas is just broke. Yeah. Y'all uh, niggas is fat. Yeah. And <laughs> it was yeah. crazy. But that was what, like, the now funny hundreds, thing was on Facebook. And every week is something like that. It's very entertaining to me. A, a chick going to a cheesecake factory. And she's yeah. Oh, I right. seen that. Oh, that was, yeah. She was high. Mm. That was crazy. Sometimes that was right, what, man. What bothers me about the internet, I, I have to look at that and be like, Man, she bullshitting or she really man, is she was real. playing the game. She, she must not know about the Korean cauliflower and the Brussels sprouts. Hey, she might I not like know. I know some people that swear by I'm not the biggest Cheesecake Factory fan, so I, it, it wouldn't be like yeah, high not, on my list. What you Run like about it? Yeah. Yeah. Chicken pasta, please, and It's just you. sometimes just, Run it, there's, a, there's a pasta that's crazy. What? I just feel like that I can make a better choice, but I'm not, I don't, I don't think it's like less than It ain't my go-to, It's not Chili's. But it's always I don't go to Chili's before I go to Cheesecake Factory. Really? Yes. Okay. Well, you go to Chili's, you're a different type of guy. Hey, <laughs> <Chili's, laughs> that would be his big hey, right. Go to Chili's and get the Southwest egg rolls. Oh, we rough, Them though. bitches are slapping. Cheesecake has them. They got Southwest egg rolls. No, they have uh, go they to, have uh, the avocado egg rolls. They're no, different. They no, got, no, they got go, Southwest too. No, go, go to I've Cheesecake them, and get been, the hibachi steak. steak. We're having a food fight right now. Cheese we'll the hibachi <laughs> steak. <laughs> we'll every time. We'll win every time. I tried, but. We'll win every time. Hibachi steak. But the cheesecake, if you never had the Cinnabon cheesecake, Oh, you're okay. missing out. I'll be talking. Talk. I was about that to, I was about to disown is... him earlier when he said chili. <laughs> Put it in my bag. Right. It's crazy. Hey, had the gloves coming out. You, you know what's like... crazy, though? Shout out to Cheesecake Factory. It's always in a nice place, though. Yes, so when is. she, So when she was getting, I'm like, you're disrespectful now. He taking you to a high end. You know, this ain't a normal street. The top tier chain restaurant. Be yeah, top tier. And let's be honest. Top tier chain. She wasn't hard enough to no. go to Ocean Prime. She no. was not. Oh, God. Well. She lucky she got the bread. Oh, guys. The brown bread and the white bread, okay? Sesame seed. Yeah, I... I, she was weak. Okay. She, she probably was from Indianapolis. No, no, no don't do that. <laughs> nah, nah, some, don't do that. It's some bad yeah, women here. We're not going to do that. You know what I'm nah. saying? One of my, I'm honest, my, we ain't going to do that. Anthony. How many people don't want to go to Cheesecake Factory in Indianapolis? You just said it wasn't your favorite spot. It's not one of my favorite spots, no, but I would go. Somebody <laughs> said, if a girl took you on a date, you going? Hell yeah. 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 I know you, I I know you, you, you said she paying? Okay, then cool. Yeah. All right, cool. What? Girl, I'll be there. I know what I, no, they have a pasta that I like. I know what I want. Louisiana chicken pasta. Yes. Or the jambalaya pasta. Front of the I know what I, it's like, yeah, I know, I know what I'm getting. Is that fried chicken on it? Hey, hey. No. Y'all side. Yeah, for sure. Sorry. Yes. Referee. I forgot what I came here to talk about. Talking about this cheesecake factory. Referee going to eat the cheesecake. And I'm going to get a, and I'm going to get a slice of cheesecake to take home. You won't stop. Cinnabon always. I get an extra slice for the, for the ride home. No, I wouldn't eat it there. Got you. I would. No. Yeah. No. I took it as long as the day though. What'd you think? Oh, come on. They just say it. How was it? Wait, wait, wait. What did you have? Oh, that, wait, wait. She's the from, nod is very she's much She's from the so Bronx, so cool. she knows like real dumb. Okay, yeah, come on. What's up? What's it? Thank you. That's all we needed. <laughs> Stamped. That's, That's it. It's cool, nod. Come to LA. Randy's Yeah, Randy's wow. is the shit. I heard Randy's fire. I heard Randy's, Randy's, is, fire. Got, is Randy's better than Long's, though? They have horchata donuts. Horchata. I know some, really? I know some people. Uh, they, well, they got some community I know some stuff, people, which is cool. I got some family members who grew up in LA. They they told they me. They swear about oh, Randy's? No, they told me a long time ago that Long shitting on Randy's. Oh, okay. I don't know. <laughs> horchata donuts don't don't sound good. No, no I mean, they do, cool, for but sure. Long's, Long's has like that authentic taste that you yeah. want to. Yeah. yeah. 
She got the white box. Maybe they need to switch it up. Grease stain in the corner. Yeah, she tape. Had ours, right? Tape, good. one tape, one crackhead outside. That's yeah, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. That's how we know. Yeah. Yeah. Crackers are, y'all, y'all Welcome, must have been welcome to Indianapolis. In I mean, yeah. hey. You're in the city now. If it ain't crackers at the gas station asking to get money to get donuts, you ain't doing it. There that. you go. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if, you, if you put your bank card in that eight, in that ATM machine at that gas station, you're a wild boy. Yeah, you yeah. for sure. It ain't your bank card no Somebody skimmed your shit. It's over. That's our bank card. It's San Andreas. I thought you got to be smoking a black to go to that gas station. Damn near. You do. You never know how to put it out when you still gotta be dangling there. from your lips. Yeah. That's the only way you go it's, to that guy. It's a personal resume that you need to go. 16th and Tibbs ain't to be sure. played with. Indeed. All right, man, Anthony Sims back in the studio. Man, this is major, man. This is crazy. What's going on? We're gonna go ahead and do the pregame podcast pop quiz. All right. Another one. Run it back. For uh, sure. I, I'm asking a boxing question. All right. Uh, what's your favorite fight you've ever watched? My Growing up fight. as a boxing fan, like, oh, that's my fight. I, go, I might go watch it on YouTube. I have two. Uh, one is... Ron Lyles versus uh, George Foreman. Okay. Mm. He's talking about two brothers over 6'5", almost 300 Throwing. pounds. They really don't like each other. One spent all his life in prison, the other one spent all his life trying not to go to prison. These brothers was fighting. They both dropped each other twice. You yeah. watch this. It's like, imagine if Errol Spence and Crawford were heavyweights. You yeah. know how crazy mm. that would be? Yeah. Yeah, it'd be nuts. Yeah, that's what this fight was. Okay. I think that's my uh, Errol Spence and Crawford's my second favorite fight to watch. The, the most recent one? Yeah. That's it was a boxing really? It was a clinic. That was a good time. Clinic, yeah. It was, it was a clinic. That was beautiful for boxing because it, it was point, angles and it was beautiful boxing. There was politics couldn't ruin that fight. Mm. If anything, politics made it because everyone said what's gonna happen. <coughs> yep. Yeah. yeah. Um that's a good answer. My question is, who is somebody that you would love to get in the ring with? Either for fun or like on oh, I don't like you. Be honest, like I got to the point like in my life where I don't really uh not nobody I really don't like. Okay. But as far as uh, fighting, it's nobody. Mm. Because boxing is the boxing that I love has changed, so nobody's worth the time. Okay. Wow. That's fair. Wow. I mean, you may have this guy that's strong or fast or slick, but it's like styles make fights. If you're just some, you know, just a repeat of somebody else, mm-hmm. they don't make it exciting because they already seen this fight. Hmm. Fair. All right, let me flip the question. Let's In history, on. all time, who's your all time? I would love to fight. Go back and fight him. Hagler. Hagler, yeah, I know. Like he might, I might get clipped. I might go to sleep, but that's the whole point hey. of boxing. You rolling the dice, Hagler for the high outcome. Walking mm. that. Well, listen, if you want to fight me, it's time to walk down and fight. I mean, <laughs> stand in the middle and throw them things. Hey, Hagler didn't get his first title shot to his forty second fight. Crazy. Fighting through the wow, politics. that's crazy. They want to give him the journey. Chance. Yeah, that's a long ass time. Forty second sure. fight. A lot of times. <clears throat> Marvin Hagler was a dog. A dog, man. A real dog. Mm. Hey, man, you uh, you get busy on them skates, man. What's your what's your favorite track to skate to? My favorite track to skate to, man, it's probably like some some house music. Okay. Really? Yeah, yeah house music, like uh, East Coast, D.C., house music. Yeah, mm-hmm. I ain't skating in like a couple of weeks, so I've been focused for training, man. Gotcha. Strict, strictly boxing. I'm sure it's like riding a bike, though. Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> I got right show. back to yeah. it. Yep. All right, man, we, we had a, a segment last week on the show. Okay. <laughs> uh, one of our co-hosts, Kyle O'Ree, sitting next to me. Uh, we talking about Jaden Will Smith. Oh, man. You know what I'm saying? And we got to the point where, you know, Talking to emotions talking about ran extensively. high. <laughs> What's going and on? What's going on? I'm listening. Kyle O'Ree said that he beat Will Smith in the fight. Easy. He said he beat Will Smith in the fight. For sure. And just talk. <laughs> 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 and just hey, the we, settle. we got a boxer. I don't know. I don't know if you know what I know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> we we hey, got a. Hey, 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 you said we got a fight. A food fight. <laughs> 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 and, and you hear, you so hear at the champions I'm here. I'm just trying to figure out why this conversation came up. Man, it was crazy. <laughs> he got mad. He's like, he's mad because Will Smith slapped Chris Rock and pissed him off. I what thought it was just childish. He did. It's a movie. He he like he uh he copied that from. That's a whole that's a whole movie scene. I thought it was childish. I thought he picked on a little guy. I Have you not seen it? Uh-uh. Mm. He copied everything he said. Like keep my wife's name out your mouth. All that's from a movie scene. How he said it twice. Keep my name's wife out and walked up and slapped him. That's all from a movie. Well, Chris didn't know. Chris didn't know. He didn't get the script. You know, I just thought he was being on a little guy. They mean, told me off top, Will Smith just beat my ass. I mean, Will Smith 55 beat my ass. I, I mean, I mean Bernie Mac video. said, like, no, who would punch somebody? Who hit somebody like Chris Chris Rock? He said that before he passed away. He's only a punk would punch somebody like Chris. That's what I'm saying. But, I mean, I don't know if you could beat him, no. though. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm just being honest, oh, dog. I appreciate, I appreciate you. I, mean, and I have to respect what you just said. I'm just saying, like, course. the man learned how to box like Ali. That was at least 55. Hey, he's like riding a bike when she's riding a bike. <laughs> <laughs> he said he's going to get in that stand. Oh, <laughs> muscle memory. That's all, crazy. All I'm going to say, though, his best chance of beating you is grabbing you and sticking you. 
Cause he older, fifty five. He gonna pig stick. I told him I'm gonna choke him out. I'm gonna yeah, get him, I'm gonna yeah he, he said kill him with his bare hands, pretty much. I, I'm gonna he choke him out. I mean, <laughs> if I get him, I got him. You probably could. If I get him, I got him. If you don't turn into Hancock, you good. <laughs> <laughs> well, I said, man, hey, this nigga's yeah, a superhero. We thought there were too many roles involved the, too, man. The but. original Shaggy Sam. Mm mm. <laughs> I don't think that's it. I don't think that's it. That's I'm, not twenty. I'm matching a boxing match. I'm like so. And that's the thing, we ain't, we were just talking about fighting. And nobody say really we had to get in the ring and make weight. I ain't gonna at, make it. Where you at and win? <laughs> yeah. We, we just fighting. <laughs> Try to will I beat your ass, though you won't. It depends on what you're fighting about. Yeah. Hey, sometimes like the purpose of what you're fighting for will really make you That's facts too. It'll, it'll yeah, push you there. That, that's that's all you need. That's right. That's right. That's the original shake sure. That's all I was saying. You can't lose to no like regular nigga. What's well, something gotta beat you up? It's too much at stake for him. It's crazy. Hey man, every time I go to the gym, somebody trying to beat me up. Really? Real really? Life. Yeah, they always try. Yeah. Is that the experience? They looking at you all crazy <laughs> when they spar. They go to this try hard, motherfucker. On the back. Try to win the championship. Like, like, oh, here come, here come. What he's Matthew. accomplished. Here he come. If I can knock him out, then I'll be somebody. That's fair. And I know, and if you try to knock me out, that's the worst thing you could do because I'm really about to hurt you. Niggas mm-hmm. trying to be Creed in there. He's trying to work. Get my shot. Yeah. They gonna put me on ESPN if I knock hey, him out in the You see me knock people out cold in, in L.A. I'm just trying to work with him. I'm like, chill out. <laughs> and that's the thing. If I'm relax, in, bro. if I'm an up and coming boxer, I'm in there with the champ. But the champ tell me chill out. I'm oh, doing too much. Yeah. My bad. That's on me. Hey, I that's on me. I spawned that's Miguel, on me. I, I spawned Miguel Cotto when I was uh 15. I'm in Florida. I spawned Miguel Cotto, and the manual story says, "All right, the motherfucker, I don't hit him hard. Cause you know, you pop him hard, he gonna pop you. So I go out there, I pop him with a jab, and I split his lips. Mm-mm. And he's like, okay. And my fucker hit me with a body shot and walked away. And I, was, I just had to catch my breath and walk it off. Mm-hmm. I mean, after that, I never hit a professional hard unless, like, unless we go in there. I'm not going to do that because we're professionals. Everything's wow. calculated. Yeah, bro. Just, we, we're trying, skilled. Yeah, right yeah, y'all assess. Yeah, don't be trying to be on star in here. Hey, you don't see. You but you're 15. You get for you. Like, I gotta, I'm trying to. I don't even know, know I can do it. NFL players, you see them practice with what? Just a helmet. Mm-hmm. They don't go full speed. Why? Because injury, they got money invested. So uh-huh. Boxing has to apply. It's a business. Mm. Can't be just banging out with everybody. But right. then you see these. Motherfuckers who can't talk, they slurring and they can't man. pronounce words because they've been banging out throughout the city. Evander Holyfield. Wow. Yeah. Evander Holyfield, man, he was, um, you know, I wouldn't say Evander Holyfield, he has pretty like good speech. He just, he don't really talk to people a lot. That's fair. A boxing to do that to you. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? That's crazy, man. Man, man I'm going to see him back in the building. Man. I appreciate it, man. I appreciate it. There's a lot going on, a lot to talk about, man. Yeah, yeah we got a lot to talk I, about. I, I, I want to get, I want to get to it. Number one, you, you, you mentioned... Uh, something on your way in. You said boxing's not the same, and oh, man. I, I, I want you just kind of to to explain that, expound on that for for the listener right now. What do you mean that boxing's not the same currently? What do you mean by that? Boxing isn't based off what you can actually do in the ring. Boxing is based off how many social media followers you have now. That's crazy. So this happened in 2019. Uh, I fought as an opener for the Super Bowl in Miami. 2019. This was the first show that had the YouTube boxing with the Logan Paul Jake Pauls. <coughs> so after that. These promoters seeing how much they, how much money they could generate with just uh, you know pay per view from this YouTuber. So mm-hmm. they started putting these YouTubers as the main events. When you put a YouTuber as the main event, somebody who's never fought and just you know Nate Robinson and Jake Paul, whoever the case, yeah. you're bumping off a real fighter. Wow. You're bumping off two real fighters. You're taking the highlight. You're taking food out of our mouth because here's yeah. the thing: we weren't celebrities on YouTube. We're fighters. There's a right. reason why we're fighters. We're broken. Something yeah. off about us to fight in the first place. Mm-hmm. You got these billionaires, millionaires coming in, just hopping in boxing and taking playing all around. The t- playing That's around, a great. You know yeah. what? So That's Jake, a great so, so Jake Paul, and Logan Paul, helping ruin the sport. I mean, they're destroying the sport because yeah. what makes boxing real? It's not to be played with. Basketball, you yeah. gotta have. You play with a ball. Football, you play with a ball. I say you don't play boxing. boxing. You gotta have the motherfuckers. Yeah. Ain't no playing. Them, but you ever heard somebody say, "I'm about to go play boxing real quick"? Nope. No. I'm about to go play ball. <laughs> yeah. You don't play boxing. Not a game. No. You get your ass whooped in there, so you can't play boxing. But now that it's, it's turned into a show, yeah, wow, and man. No, and no fighters are getting opportunities because now after COVID, these fights just like you know can go for some real money. They're offering nickels for it because yeah. they know these brothers will take it because everybody's hungry. Huh. Wow. So it's turned into almost like a man. To me, it's like like it's like Mandingo fighting. These brothers fighting, beating their brains out for nothing. That's wow. If we, gonna, if we gonna fight like this? If we gonna really fight, then let the you know the risk and the reward let them, How? the reward match up. So how do we? Okay, now how? Because as get, consumers, we part of the problem. Because I've definitely we watched, are for I've sure. definitely watched a, a Paul fight. Yeah, you say you, you're part of the problem, but it's up to us to be in front of your face to let you know, like this is the real boxing. Mm. This is a real fight. So yeah. is that is that our way of getting back to it? Is continue to just use platforms and speak out against Man, it? Man, the way to getting back to it is taking control. That's why I created my own promotion. I don't have to depend on any promoter, any platform, any streaming service. 
I don't have to go through any matchmaker, any manager. Now I do it hands on myself. Wow. So like with uh, no December 9th, Magic Promotions, we're pulling our first fight at Tech High School. We have uh, Shout out to Tech. Yeah. You said what? Yeah, Ars- Arsenal Tech. Yes, sir. We have uh, Adidas, Rudy's, Empire, New Live, uh, the Boys and Girls Club as sponsors for the event. And the main reason, the main reason I created this is because I was going to be the main event in L.A. at uh, this big arena. I'm talking, negotiating. They called me two weeks later. They called me and tell me, uh, we're going to go a different route. Mm. You're not really a fit. You're not main event material. Really got you I got 23 wins, 20 wins by knockout and two losses. And you tell me I'm not main event material? At this point, I was ready to walk away from boxing because I've been with Don King. I've been with Al Haim and Bob yeah. Arum. Mm. I've been on the gatekeepers. Fought, I've been on all these gatekeepers <clears throat> just to find out they all devils. It's not. It's not. It's business, but it's personal to me. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. So I decided. Uh, my girl told me, "Open up your own promotion. Do it yourself. Go back to your city and do it there. You got people that love you and just behind you." And I'm like, you know, I need to go back to my city. The only reason I had to leave is because, you know, what's messed up. When I went to go find Freddie Roach in uh, in L.A., mm-hmm. the reason I had to do that is because. Uh, I wasn't getting phone calls back when I would tell somebody I'm from Indianapolis. They say, oh, we like how you look. You're sharp. You're great. Where are you from? Indianapolis. They stopped calling me back. That's crazy. Oh, that's ridiculous. And as soon as I said See, I, was I have a problem with that. LA. When I said I'm from L.A. because it's a big city, yeah. then what happened? I get sent over to England. <coughs> then from England, I get signed by Matchroom. Then from there, I'm in Spain, Italy. I'm all across the world. All because yeah. I told a lie about where I was from. Why? It's Indianapolis. Nobody cares about any nap. Is, is, is that I'm a is great that fighter? What does it matter where I'm fighting from? Yeah. So it sounds like hip hop. In, in, in order to be, that sounds like rap. Yeah. Heralded, <laughs> like, it, even down to the point where you're from matters. It matters. Do you think that's based on the market? Like they, 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 they they're assuming because you're from Indianapolis, there's not a, a backing to you because you're from Indianapolis. They assume, but it's more of a situation of supply and demand. If gotcha. they don't see followers, then they don't believe it. Even though all these yeah. followers can be bots, they can be bought. Hey, I understand that. So it's like, you know what? What's the best way to do this? How about I come back to my, you know, I called brothers here and said, hey, make me the main event because it's all about supply and demand. Mm-hmm. Generate enough money to pay everybody. I get that. Make me the main event, and we're generating enough ticket sales to pay the opponents, pay the other guys in the card, everybody eats. Nobody called me back. So I said, you know what? I'm going to take all my resources, all my connections, open up my own promotion with my lady. She did all this digital work that she she created all this. Oh, this is fire, for sure. Uh, Shout out to the Naptown Rumble, man. Hey, man, appreciate it. Round of applause to Andy Sam Jr., too, because I think a lot of times people don't, you know, this, this is a lot of hard work and dedication, man. You're really doing this all yourself. No, I, I'm not going to say that. Me, Got and, you. me and my, my woman, Jane sure. Rado, I can't say I did it all myself. Shout out to the team. Shout out to the team, though. Man. But it's your team, you yes, know what sir. I'm saying, making this happen after a door was closed. You opened your own door, man. So congratulations to you on that. Yeah, the more Congratulations you show. to y'all, brother, because you're doing this right here. Nobody tried to help you do this shit. I already know. It's like y'all did this to, like some hustle and flow shit. Y'all built this together y'all. Not real life. Indeed. Appreciate you, bro. Yes. Why? Because it was yeah. skinny uh, man through our tape in the hey, toilet. Skinny <laughs> man. <laughs> hey, really skinny man. But unfortunately, like uh, being in LA, it don't matter what color you really are. Brothers, politics, white, Asian, yeah. Yeah. It don't matter. But unfortunately, here minorities don't look out for each other. Mm. So it's like you know what? Let me come preach, here preach and try it. to give them a flavor of what I learned, which is like it ain't what color you is. It ain't where you from. It's where you at. It's where you going. Mm. So let me get here and try to create opportunity where there's none because it's, it's none. Nobody's trying to do nothing with nobody. Nah, that's real, man. Hey, I'm pretty sure we're hey, better the, together than the we champ are in the build. This is the facts. champ is here dropping gems. <laughs> I'm pretty going sure. crazy, <laughs> man. Now I said the more you talk, the more it sounds like like the music industry. And man, I feel like it's good. You, the, the 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 concept of going independent is something that music had to do the same thing mm-hmm. for because same industry and what they putting out mainstream bullshit. Facts. Nobody want to hear it's a lot of Logan Paul's rapping podcast. right now. Man, yeah. I don't listen. Everybody I listen to is dead. Damn. If that I listen to like uh, I listen to like maybe like some who, who we listen to the rap if any. What's it's, oh we Larry June? It's, it's still people to listen to Larry June. Okay, it's just like Larry I'm, cool. I'm like this man. I wake up every day. I realize like. Uh, Vibrations and frequencies is motherfucker. Yeah. Whatever you put your, put in your body when you start, that's how your day will go. <coughs> mm. I can't I can't hold my girl's hand when I'm if I'm banging some future or some shit like that because I'm not feeling like that. You feel me? These are facts. Oh wow. That's a fact. is, mm. It's basically like I don't you, the music makes you how you feel to that, but I, I understand what you're saying. It, it, I mean, like it makes you like for you, you get up every day, you put on what you put on. That's cool. It's just it's just you, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, it's not a woman next to you or like yeah. people watching you or people just like paying attention to your energy. Yeah. If I go around with this like right. Raspy energy every fucking day. It's gonna give us the wrong intent or yeah. bring the wrong people. All with the start of my day with the music. I used to listen to Pac every day. I'm outside with Crips, outside in California. I'm with with all the West Coast people every day, and it's cool. But the frequency and the energy is what am I listening to? Yeah. 
I the currently don't about? know any women that hey. want me to turn on Tupac though. Hey, I'm just saying, just like the music, you think about what you rapping. You singing the soul, you singing to dead people, you rapping about dead people, you rapping about popping pills, doing this, smoking a motherfucker, this or that. Like, yeah. what are you saying? I, yeah, I mean, the content. Oh, you know, I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. It's going to hit you another way. Abracadabra. You know what that means? I create. I create. Like the magician. No, I create as I speak. That's what it means. Oh, okay. I never knew that. I didn't know that. I'm learning today. Abracadabra. Yeah, definitely. Not. I create as I speak. So when you say whatever you come out your mouth, even if you don't mean it, you're creating that shit. So when you speak rap lyrics, you're creating it. I create as I speak. Yeah. Abracadabra. I'm on the same volume. What? Bro. This shit's no yeah. joke, man. Yeah. That's I don't know. I rap, I, rap a, I, rap a, I rap a lot of million dollar rap hey, songs. Hey, cool. I ain't seen it yet. Hey, that's, so that, I don't know. That's cool. You ain't rapping enough energy. For some brothers, they can't. You don't believe it. <laughs> but it's just like how, how you feel. Like some people, yeah. they're building deep in touch with how they feel. But can we get day. into that, though? Because I feel like the last time we had you on, we were doing this, too. Talking about some deep stuff, man. Oh, yeah, for sure. And we do it And I feel it's happening And I think years later. And I appreciate your connection to the. I feel like everyone's connection to the music is different. And I appreciate your perspective and your connection to it because it's all needed. Yes, sir. Everybody has to have their own perspective and how they look at it, how they listen to it. That's why it's such a beautiful thing. I'm happy it's, you said it's that. It's different for everybody. Perspective, perspective sometimes yeah. can be greater than fact. Yeah, which is scary. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But, but I, don't, I, I know where to, I know where to go to get the motivational shit. Yeah. I know where to go to get the toxic shit. Why know? do you go get the motivational shit? I, because you need motivation. Yeah, but I don't. Like I'm saying, I don't. I know it's it's already there for me. So like that's what I'm. I don't require. It, it's a I mean, big like here. I don't require you, like, like music. Music isn't like a, a base for you. Like, like yeah. it controls your feelings of how you feel. But motherfuckers like myself, if I didn't have music, I'd be in a, a real bad me place. Me too. So me I, too. I, I need positive music. It would be I need, bad. For I, I need go to old school music. It would be bad for me. Mm -hmm. I don't. I don't need. I don't need Shout like. Sir, I don't need new rappers to rap about. I don't need new rappers to tell me things like I would rap to my child because on I Get Up, J. Mm -hmm. Cole said, I teach him that his skin black like oil. That's royalty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I already know I'm going to say that to my son. Mm -hmm. I don't need new niggas to tell me that. But I got it. Already. Say it. I do J. Like Cole J. Cole was a new nigga like, one day. Hey, good, I know, but I already got it. J. Cole's the shit like, good news is I went a long, good news is you made it a long way, bad news is you went the wrong way. Yeah, That's some right. heavy shit. Yeah. But I feel that. Not all rappers, but for the main part, if you're talking about some shit that uh, I wouldn't want to say in front of some, I want to say not so much some kids, but I wouldn't want to say. I won't want to say to somebody. I ain't gonna be. I'm not about to be rapping that shit. I ain't gonna tell somebody like, "Fuck that motherfucker, blow, it, shoot him in That's the face, blah blah blah." Like, That's oh, fine. No, Fact. But we can say yeah, all I'm that. But it. if say you that, turn but, on Tay K, the race, it's oh, fire. Oh, Tay K, Tay K is dope. But it's like when you in L. A., you actually <laughs> see that shit. <laughs> yeah, it's different. Like, you know, and these I, kids I, adapt to it. Yeah, I hear. Like, oh, yeah. I, I hear about it out here. But when you see it in L. A., like the actual movements or like the gangs and stuff like that, you realize that this ain't nothing to be played with or even joke about. Mm. Yeah. Well, these yeah, these new niggas they they listen to music and then they go do that. They like, they speak. listen to music and they say it like the whole cuz blood shit. You can't be out there saying that shit in L. A. Somebody blow your head off mm. just never, because it's that serious. So you don't you don't play around that. You got people that's really they they born to be. Blow your head off. You're born to be an athlete. You're born to go to school. Like you're born to do something. Do it. Here, you be one thing one day and then up is next time they see you. Now you a killer. The next time you a rapper, then it's like you can't change your roles like know. that. Now you work can, at the bank. It's all type of shit. I got a question though, because I think I on? think uh, niggas is killers you know, though. It's killers out here. You you've been you been, so. you've been, you been in the ring professionally for a long time. Yes, sir. And I think that there's a different approaches to that. I feel like you've been one that that finds solace or peace in in a spiritual journey. Yes. I want you to talk about that for a little bit. Give us some insight into how you are able to you know find peace. Even what you just said, man, was crazy. I'm not crazy in the in a sense of I haven't thought about that before. You I know what you it. say is what you speak, and you know things that how you start your day means a lot. Yeah, just talk about us. You know, just kind of give us a little bit of insight as, as to why that is. <coughs> Anthony. Um, well, I mean, I owe it to my lady again. I didn't realize that when you start your day, it's like you're paying homage to your to yourself and to your body. With you know, paying homage to the ritual. Right. That's what that's how you show your body love. Ritual. Getting up, washing your body, brushing your teeth, putting your clothes on a certain way, making sure you take care of yourself. So every day I start my day, I just try to, like, uh, you know, how easy is it to take for granted your legs or your arms? Nah, these are facts. Because we got it every day. Motherfucker punch you in your face, you take for granted everything you got because it's like a reality shock. Yeah. That's why I can never People don't get enough reality shocks. When you yeah. get reality check, like, one, you see details. You ever looked at your woman and then, like, another day you look at her and you realize the little details, like she got freckles or she got a little bump there. Shit that you don't pay attention to, but something happened, an argument, y'all broke up or something. Next time you see her, you see all these details mm -hmm. about it. Hmm. Same way with life. Motherfucker punch you in your face, it's a reality check. It yeah, shake everything see the up. Lord for sure. From the toe to head, you feel you in you in tune everything. It make you take you take uh, advantage of every second that you got. 
But for me, um, I say like I find peace in boxing because the boxing ring is the only place where I'm in control. You think about it outside the ring, anything could go. You could slip and fall, somebody could pop you, wrong place, wrong time. But in a boxing gym, in a boxing ring, it's control violence. I dictate what happens. If somebody going to sleep me or hit me or try to hurt me, at least I see the person in front of me trying to hurt me. Right. Versus outside here, mm. wow. I'm fucking shaking your hand trying to hurt you. Mm-hmm. At least the person I'm touching gloves with, I know he's trying to hurt me. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah that's real. That's more Wait, cool. Wow, for real. We had to talk about it in the starting room. We had the ref say, yeah. both of you niggas, go. Yeah, but it's like the only place I feel like in life where it's 50-50. The majority of my life hasn't been 50-50. It's never been fair. Life ain't fair. But it's like at least in boxing, it's fair. Down to, down to the scale. Hey, down to the scale is fair. At least with my boxing match promotion wow. is bringing back the super phenomenon of boxing. We're bringing back what make boxing boxing. Boxing, what make boxing boxing? Fairness. My fuckers come from nothing, but in this ring, they equals until they fight. Mm. Right? You can have nothing. Right. It's not about if you Floyd Mayweather got money, Mike Tyson got knockouts. That shit go out the window. You can come with entourages. When you hop in that ring, you buy yourself. <laughs> they cannot help you. That's they cannot real. help you. <laughs> Until the this. end, it seems. Yeah. Let me ask There's you this about as far as promotions go. So, yeah. obviously, you got Don King and Bob Arum, those oh. type of guys. Yeah. Is Mayweather Promotions, has, has he become a gatekeeper, or is he trying to fight against them? No, he's not a gatekeeper. He's too busy trying to be on the scene. Um, That's I say fair. nothing bad about him. He's trying to stay relevant. Uh, as a fighter, which he should stay relevant as a boxer. Nobody really wants to see. Um, I don't want to see Floyd fight ever again. And all nope. that shit. Can I? Can I ask you this? And, yeah. And I like how you spoke on like how different they're trying to make boxing as far as like the YouTubers. Yeah. Is this something that you would do, or or would you stay? I feel like Never. that there's mm-hmm. certain. So you Never. wouldn't even do it to just to just top that bank account off. It's like um, you cool every time. It's like at what point you don't even have to fuck with them for real, but maybe you just want to increase your funds just for your generation. From a generational wealth standpoint, sometimes you may have to do some things that maybe look a little funny in the light. I feel well, it's like what's the difference between doing things you want to do and then selling yourself? Because I know that's what boxing is. And man, your Stewart, Mike Tyson. You know, the real fighters who came up before me, they'll be upset if they find out that YouTubers is getting all the shine and not the real fighters. Mm. Now, you see a lot of fighters on TV co-signing these motherfuckers because they're getting paid to. They're getting paid to, they're getting paid to say, <laughs> they're getting paid to say, disgusting. yes, he's a great fighter, he's a real champion, he looks good, sharp. They're getting paid to commentate about this, knowing damn well this motherfucker shouldn't be on TV. He have, couldn't, have he couldn't you, hit water if he fell out of boat. So you have, say, you, uh, have you watched any of these? Yes, I know I watched early it, on, I, watched it. I went in like, this is bullshit. I, and fought, I, I started fought, hate watching I it. I fought on the while. same card as him. Got you. Like, I seen, I seen this get, I seen what it's turning into, and I'm like, ah, this can't be happening. Can you, is there no separate, like, can you not? Separate it. Like I feel like you can still be a, a conscious person yeah. and and separate who you really are from making the money. I feel like you don't have to be the same. Like, I, I, I feel like you. I feel like your character don't have. I feel like <laughs> I your character would well. still be. I feel like your character would still be higher than Come like. On, Deuce, let's go dance real quick. I feel like your character would be higher than like a Logan Paul's it's character, even if you did if you did the Saturday Night Fight. Just to get the money, I, I, but it's like at that point for me it's blood money because boxing ain't okay. pl- to be played with. It's not like a, okay. I'm about to go take like a football <clears throat> game or basketball. It's like you're gambling with your life when you step in these ropes. That's, that's the difference. That's, that's the difference. I had homies that walked away crippled. Joe McClellan, he, he's brain. He's basically a vegetable. Oh he's a world God. champion, undefeated. He's knocking everybody. He's the most feared fighter ever. He took one hit to the back of the head. Now he's brain dead for the rest of his life. Wow. He's brain dead like, like, like his about. young 30s. So it's sure. like, where do we separate what the fuck is real between this fake shit? Because we all know this Jake Paul shit is scripted. He's fighting basketball players, fighting Ty- Tyron Woodley, little guy. And, and that's, the, why, that's the fight that really bothers me. Yes. Because it was a terrible fight. That fight ended awful. with a huge knockout. And everybody goes, see, he's legit. Or even one of them fighting Floyd. That, you see how big that white boy was fighting Floyd? Yep. Huge. It, that, come on now. That's, it's all scripted. Yeah. Now, in real life, that he, he would have killed Floyd. So it's just like as boxers, we have to live in reality. We don't live in the fake fairy tale shit. We got to take, take that so punch. So what I'm hearing is through Magic Promotion, we're gonna take back boxing. And Taking I, back boxing is the thing we putting brothers on that people forgot about. Brandon can, Brandon Johnson, fourteen and three, former basketball player, big following. Been pushing, been pushing his own weight, taking care of himself to get to this point. And what? Nobody's trying to put him on mm. cars. Nobody's trying to promote him. Why? Because there's no money for them. 
There's no instant gratification for them. But if you know boxing, you know it's over the process. Like Rome. Rome didn't get built overnight. You want a great dynasty, you gotta start chopping that bitch down and build what, it up. What's yeah, the what's what the, what the boxing environment? What's the boxing environment like in India? Like the boxing environment in India, um even getting to fight at, at tech, is that like a difficult pull? Because there's no, not there's not arenas for this stuff. No, it's like um it's really about be honest, man, it's really about your person. Before you're a promoter or businessman. They go and look at what type of person you were before you tried to get into business. Right. So luckily, I have a good name here. I never tried yeah. to cross nobody, never tried to take none from nobody. If anything, I tried to get, whether it's me getting a boxing gym on East 10th Street or creating a boxing gym over here by uh, the fairgrounds. I've always been trying to get from My son went there for a while. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Always, yeah. always trying to, I've been trying to do something for the city versus take from the city. Mm-hmm. Mike Epps always come back and try to give to the city. Every time I go to a concert, I mean, not a concert, I go to L.A., Mike Epps there, he give me tickets. Me and my girl go see him. Like that's hard. that's that's giving love, but yeah, that's that's cool. that's hey, shout man. out to Mike Epps. But Curtis, um, uh, Curtis Hill, another brother from here, he fought Ali Akhmedov, which right now is like he was uh, the Ukrainian world champion with Triple G. A brother from here walked him into that fight. He didn't know he's even fighting. He thought he's about to have an easy fight, and he ended up getting clipped like in the third or fourth round. Simple fact is, brothers like this, they get malmanaged. They have amazing skill, but just just wrong manager and lack of resources. So that's all I'm trying to bring in Indianapolis is just proper management, proper platform, resources, and opportunity. Mm-hmm. Dude, that's, all, that's all they need. They grow them in. They can fight. They've been doing it their whole life, but what? Nobody gave a fuck about them because this person wasn't putting money in their pocket or it's not instant gratification. All these new coaches like P. Diddy. Boxing has turned into a whole bunch of P. Diddy's. Everybody want to be in front of the camera well, making money. Yo, Dance now right, in the no. ring. He going to take all your money. No, yeah. man. That's what boxing has turned into. It's turned into a, a show. I'm yeah, I'm frustrated personally as a boxing fan. Yeah. The fact that basically you saying they're trying to make it wrestling. Tyson Fury is about yeah. to fight. Uh, yeah, that fight should never happen. Like, bro, that's man. a joke, man. Like we no. just watched you have a trilogy. Why? Who's actual, about to fight? Why are you not uh, fighting? The UFC fighter yeah. in uh, Jaku, African maybe it's not gonna do. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Why ain't he fighting Anthony Joshua? That's who he, everybody knows. Who be, everybody knows he should be fighting. Why ain't he fighting Anthony Joshua? Because though? the money ain't right. And they probably told him, hey, you can fight Anthony Joshua and make three million. You can fight Njaku and make forty. Now, now, did you ever think that they paid him not to fight Anthony? Joshua? Probably. Take the yeah, but yeah. Matter of yeah, fact, take so this to down. Right it's now, a bad, it's a bad timing. Right and it's, now. A, it's a cross promotion, so it's, it's it, it becomes wrestling. Imagine if in the Attitude Era, Hulk Hogan fought Stone Cold Steve Austin. Yeah, that'd be cool. Oh shit! Yeah, I'm daddy. Please come and get the pay per view. Please, 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 please. <laughs> come on, I do anything. I I mow the grass. Whatever you want me to do. But that taps into like a whole other show of fans. Unfortunately, the boxing world is separate from all these other YouTuber media fans. Right. So like. This fight, the Tyson Fury fight, is about to sell out to like it's gonna sell a lot of money, but it's not gonna be boxers. It's no. gonna be watching that shit. We don't. No, it's gonna fight. be it's gonna be casuals no. and yeah. betters and that's why I'm watching people Frank who like Ryan other shit. sports. I'm stealing it, and I get it from like I, you're like from your lens as a boxer, like. I know for you guys, it's interesting. It's but it's like, it's I feel like yeah, everything as consumers, is, we, we, yeah. we, we. Entertainment, I get it. Yeah. It's like that 90s shit where they had like the like American Fighter where it's like a wrestler versus a karate yeah, guy. It's yeah, like yeah, two yeah. different styles in here fight. Yeah. You know, it just don't, uh, it's, it don't make sense. It's like basketball for, and football. You don't for boxing fans, it's very annoying. Like, I'm, yeah. yeah. It's all it's all a money grab, I feel like. And the, and the people in power are going to try to do whatever they can to generate the most revenue. You said the who? The people in power. The people in power, exactly. Yeah, we, don't, we can't say who, their name who, out loud. Who are they exactly? <laughs> we, we, they we know, say that a lot. We know mean, who they are. are they, we can't are they, say their name. Is this, I mean, for um, me, I'm ignorant. Is this Showtime? Like, who are these people behind these 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 platforms? Well, they're behind, that are they're behind the scenes of everything. The music so, industry. The so, movie industry. Um, you have, like, uh, Bob Aaron, which is the top Bob player. Aaron. Don yes. King. Yes. Uh, oh, you man. have yeah Al Heyman, yeah, Al Heyman PBC, Bob, yeah. Eddie Hearn, and Al, Frank Warren. Bob Aram is a top dog. He's in right. many yeah. places. <laughs> but um, start to ignore him. Starts as with the, a, as the episode starts with a Y, ends with. S- but boxing is the only sport where there's no number, no like, uh, there's no website you can go to to find somebody. You have to know somebody to find somebody. Football, basketball, you can actually call, mm-hmm. like the manager's number or like the coaches or physical conditioning. Boxing, you have to find these people. So if you don't know them, it's an enclosed world, like uh. Like like underground fighting almost. This is what boxing's like. So it's independent. If you do great by yourself, then great. If you bomb by yourself, then oh well. That's yep. what boxing is. It's like um, it's a very closed in sport. You, you can't just walk into it and just like blow the fuck up. It's mm-hmm. like music. They choose what they want to mm-hmm. fighting. Sounds the promoters. Like the radio program is real. The promoters choose who they want to fight. You don't. It, it don't matter what you want as a fighter. They can. I, Don King shot me for two years. And that's the best thing could have happened because I learned all the loops and outs. Okay, I'm gonna say this. Best way to sum it up. You know what separates like a professional or like a regular average person from like somebody like Kobe? 
like the difference. The work ethic. Not the work ethic. Yeah, but it's the preparation, how they prepare. Hmm. They don't prepare for victory. They prepare for defeat because victory comes one way. It's just winning. You can be defeated in so many ways. So mm-hmm. that's how you prepare. That's the difference between a normal professional and someone like Kobe or like, you no, know, normal professional is in like at my level. I'm not saying I'm a Kobe, but to get to that point, you have to have that mindset of, you know, people prepare to win. I'm going to work out real hard, run real fast, lift real, you no, know, get strong, and we're knocking my fuck out. That's how you prepare for victory, right? Knocking somebody out. No, but but the Kobe mindset to pre- prepare for that victory is to do that. But in addition, in addition, I'm gonna learn how my opponent moves. Yeah, and how that's, that's any way you, any, any way you can be defeated. That's it's a, it's a way. It's a way any way somebody more can defeat me. That's thing. that's what that is. Any person, any way you could be defeat me, whether it's me dropping my left hand, me dropping my right hand, you catch mm-hmm. me with a hook. Yeah. So, so when it happens, I'm ready. People just prepare one way. They one track mind. You got to be able to switch it. You mm-hmm. gotta be able to adjust. A lot of people can't adjust, man. Like Indianapolis is a circle city. It's a beautiful city, but it's like if things ain't in order, people lose their fucking mind. People, you do. gotta be able to adjust that's and roll with the punches. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? And I think that's, that's why a lot of people never leave the city, because there's nothing wrong with that. No, that's not a bad thing. I'm saying a lot of people never see the city to be able to leave. You need to leave the city and come back to really appreciate what we got in that's the city. Say. That's why we don't love each other because we're just a circle that's of the same old shit. When you leave the city and come back, man, I love the West Side. Yeah. Man, I love the East Side. Man, I love the foil. I love the East Side. Man, I love Oaks die. Eagle Creek. The day I die. Yeah, man, I love Longs. I love seeing y'all, but when y'all just yeah. circle city, same live every but fucking we weekend. We need more but pride the, for sure. But the downside that, to that for me is like they go to they go to another city and they see a, a, the same type of individual doing better than them. Yeah. And so now they've adopted this new city as better. And, and bring it back. necessarily that. No, and the problem is they do. They they you gotta you gotta hop on a flight a drive man, you're not gonna be able to see it on a drive unless you drive I say yeah. over ten hours yeah. you go to Michigan Don't drive. Ohio you go to Louisville any of these yeah, states yeah. it's still a little spin off of Indy get out of the Midwest close. you gotta go to the West we Coast of New York she took cities. me to Florida culture shock New York culture shock yeah. L A culture shock you should now, go to Denver hey, all, all these cities Denver like too Denver. hey Denver too Colorado I've been to every Don't. state in the United States Damn. That's like, <laughs> can you talk can you talk about your experience in Europe. Europe, you know um, what I'm saying? Ain't recent. It just, and take us back to treat, Dubai too, man. How do they treat you out there being, you know, a in black Europe, man? From that's the thing. It's, uh, it's, it's different forms of uh, racism that people don't understand until they leave. If you go to Michigan or Ohio, you're not going to see this form of racism. You got to go to another state. It's called classism, where it's not based off just your skin color. It's based off your education and your wealth. Yeah. So they'll treat you bad just because you're not educated properly. Not so mm. much just your skin color. Mm. But it's not the same here. Like with blacks and I uh, say African, Africans are, you know, African-Americans and Africans. Over there is Africans. They don't see us as equals. They don't. Nah. But, but then we they don't see them. colonize as fuck out well, there. We don't see them as, as equals either because the things we have to deal with in America, they don't have to deal with. Mm-hmm. Right? So here, you know, we have to deal with possibly getting snatched out the car, getting roughed up because we walk and talk a different way. In England, everybody kind of walks and moves the same way. It's like uh, someone's talking, you're not going to pick them out for how they talk. Yeah. Unless they sound uneducated. Damn, why are they rapping about that then? Rapping about what? In the UK. I mean, it's the industry. And of course, there's always going to be some sort of like racism, but it's not like it is here. Until you open your mouth up, then it may be some sort of judgment. But otherwise, hmm. no, you're good. You blend right in. You can't be profiled just how you look. Is everybody no, you can't. Everybody, moves everybody moves the same and dresses the same, oh, so it's not a look. Out there. But it's a sound. When you open your mouth up, they know like, okay, you're from South London or East London or West London. You're, you're proper. You have money or you don't have money. You from, from the ends, exactly. from the ends, man. You can tell by the same <laughs> like, 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 like Stormzy. Yeah, Stormzy's from the hood. As soon as he opens his mouth up, they two know. plus two is four. Whatever. Yeah, you can tell by how he That's talks. That's crazy. But then you hear somebody else like, "Good evening, sir." Like it's a completely yeah. posh. Uh, they call it posh. Hello, governor. Uh, yeah, posh. That's people really speak like that. Posh. That's what it's called. Like uh, it's called like the Beverly Hills of England. Yeah. Yeah, posh so. spice. Yeah, man. Posh wow. Spice. Damn. Yeah. Posh spice. Wow, that's crazy. I want to tell you. You've mentioned YouTube a couple times. I think. Yeah. Of, I think of streaming in general. Do you feel like streaming's affected boxing at all? I know you were. Uh, you um, were. You were doing the zone fights for a while there. How yeah. was that experience? It was. Uh, man, the zone was great. I actually, I'm actually streaming my fight live through YouTube. Got you. So like with the streaming, it's affected boxing because it's like going back to this pay per view type of ordeal. But it's like we don't have those type of pay per view fighters. Right. It's only two or three of them. It's not like you know you had Mike Tyson, Marvin Hagler, Roberto Duran, Tommy Hearns. You had everyone. Everybody wanted to see. Now everybody just wants to see Javante Davis or maybe Devin Haney because that's all they promote mm, to, mm. to people. And Canelo. Yeah, and Canelo. That's all you mm. see. But back in the day, you had all these fighters you wanted to see. So it's just uh, the whole streaming services. I'm doing YouTube Live. I'm not doing uh, anybody else because it's like 
That's my, it costs money. You start mm-hmm. streaming like that, pay-per-view, it, it sounds good, but you're coming off a percentage of that versus just, you know, stream YouTube Live, everybody can see it. But mm-hmm. the main people I'm doing this for is for the people in the city, in Indianapolis. Right. right. People that can come and see. If you can't come see it, then we're going to stream it live for you for YouTube. Yeah. For those that don't know, man, I know we got the flyer in front of us, man. Yeah. How can you make sure that we come check out Magic Promotions and that man, time around? December 9th at Arsenal Tech. Fight started at 6 30. Well, doors open at 6 30. First fight is at 7 30. We're going to have six fights there. Uh, you can purchase your tickets going to my Instagram of uh, on Instagram, uh, two underscores the magician or Facebook, uh, Anthony Sims. And if you get a flyer on the back as a barcode, you take a picture. It takes you right to Eventbrite. If and if you have Eventbrite, you can search the fight uh, there too. Naptown Rumble. It'll come right up and take you right to the website. Are these fighters from the city? Uh, two of them are Curtis Hill and Brandon Johnson. Is Tim Moten isn't? But Tim Moten is a heavyweight that sparred with uh, Anthony Joshua for Andrew Ruiz one and two. Mm, wow. H- here's the thing with boxing: when you're a sparring partner, they're supposed to take care of you. So it means they're supposed to put you on an undercard or put you on. They didn't put them on both times. That's wow. Damn, man. damn, that's that bullshit. Yeah. That's and he should be shitty about that. He should. I'm man. sure he is. I mean, he is, but it's like, what can you do? Well, yeah. let me ask you this: Is is, is it's one of those situations where where the power? Well, he should have been on those undercards, but. If he gets the the Fury fight, he's supposed to get. Does he maybe make that undercard? No, no, that's fucked up. No, because they, to... they they lie to you and then they, they don't put you on the card. They don't look out for you because what they are not they don't have the power to. Yeah, it's the and the powers to be are the ones that make the the final decisions. Uh, yeah, and if you're not in their good graces or no, I mean doing honest, what they want you to do, then it's probably yes. Yeah, it's, it's fair to assume that they asked, but they was like, nah. I mean, okay, they want you to kiss your ass, and yeah. I mean that's like I'm yeah. not, everybody that's, not doing that. Yeah, that's not that's not the case. But like this, by the way, here's Sedan um Sedan Scott. He's from Adrian Bronner's gym. Mm. He been fighting for a man like he he was bumping with Devin Haney, like he like he can fight. Yeah, he can fight. But he's another brother that um you know, over two hundred amateur fights. No manager promoter signed him because wow. following whatever whatever excuse they have. Here's the, here's the thing: they tell fighters focus on training, and just stay consistent every day, and you'll get there. The moment will happen. Well, what are you doing? You stay consistent, and the moment it doesn't happen. It's been five, ten, twenty. Yeah, yeah. that's a long time. When's somebody gonna call me? I've been boxing since I was six. I'm, I'm 28 now. I've been banging out. I had over 300 amateur fights. Wow. I got 23 and two with 20, 20 knockouts. How many sparring sessions I've been through? Right. Like, just to get to this point, just someone to tell me like, well, you know what? Good news is you made it a long way. Bad news is you went, went the wrong, wrong way. way. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. That's fucking crazy. That's crazy, man. That's it that make what, me jump what, out the window, man. What is Mag Promotions? I know you kind of allude to this throughout the interview, but no, I, no, I, I want cool. you to you know, spell it out for everybody. What? What is this 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 business going to offer to a fighter? You know what I'm saying to somebody that's in this industry that these other individuals just won't do because they're scared to. What, what you got? I mean, well, first thing is it says it in in the name Magic. You see the dot between the I and the C. That's like the def. That's how it looks when you when you look up the definition of magic. Mm. So we're gonna bring back you no know, the magic. People don't know like with boxing a fight or fight is magical because you don't see him training everything he puts into. And the fighter doesn't see like the manager, the matchmaking, and all this shit that goes on. That's the magic of boxing. That's the business. We're taking care of everything. But I say, if anything, like uh, to answer your question, magic promotions is different than any other promotion because I'm 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 taking care of the fighters the way I want it to be taken care of. See, all the promoters in boxing ain't really like you know really former fighters or active fighters. I'm still an active fighter, so I need it just as bad as they do. Mm. Don King ain't fought nobody. No man, Don King, none of these fighters do. But it's like the people in charge of making decisions have either never taken the punch or never will. So how can you expect them to have that perspective? Because mm. a lot of times perspective is greater than fact, like I said. And it may be, and and I've seen this work in different avenues because I kind of compare it to like like what's going on in that like. The DJs have been taking control of the, the promotion mm-hmm. and throwing the events. Yeah, I've been saying. And that. obviously, in in other avenues like you, the boxer, Pleasure. you should be in charge of throwing the events and showing the promotion yeah. and and getting the money that you deserve as the person who is most going in the situation. You're the person who is going to got the most at risk. Yeah, you have the you, most you at risk. You entertainment. You yeah. know, mind, body, and soul. You have the most to lose. But the promoters don't tell you though what you can make. That's the difference. Like promoters, yeah. they really rob people. Like me, I'm trying to make this money so I can go and get this next venue and just keep it going. I'm trying to do yeah. a fight every two or three months. And I want these fighters, like, well, I'm about to take care of these fighters. They're going to get paid better than any other card they've been on. Just off GP, off principle. I'm taking care of you. They don't have to sell tickets. Most cards, you have to sell tickets in order to, you have to sell enough tickets to pay for your purse and your opponent. 
Mm. If you don't sell enough tickets, you don't fight. Mm. They ain't got to sell no tickets. That's something. They can tell you the day before, like, hey, you didn't really hit that mark. Yeah, you're gone. But you've been training for six months for this. You've been training your whole that's life. That's that for bullshit. This. Yeah, <laughs> that's yeah, crazy. Yeah. That's, that's how. That sounds. Is. That's what they're doing. Oh, and you got to pay a slot fee just to get on the card. All my guys, I'm like, look, hop on the card. Y'all ain't been busy. I'll I'll, I'll take that for y'all. Don't don't, don't worry about that. I'll take care of your purse, your opponent. Don't worry about that. Just focus on training. I got your shoes. I got your gloves. Just, you should just focus on one thing. You should have to work work a job, take care of your hey, kids, that's fire, go man. train, then find sell tickets on the side. That's bullshit. Yeah, that's that's, that's lazy. Crazy. Yeah. No, put up the money. If you really about that shit, put your money where your mouth is, and it's like go big or go home type of ordeal. Nobody else is doing shit. All right, everybody, talk, everybody talk about it. Oh, here's a whole bunch of people talking. You should do this, do this. There's the reason why there's no promoters that are boxers. Most of them ain't ain't tech savvy. They ain't aware. They they being fucked right now. No one knows. So how they gonna help somebody else? Mm. Fact. Wow. Hmm? I, I I got kind of a nerd boxing question. This or maybe you with these two on? kids, the 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 Grandy twins. Or a little light skin. Yeah. Now what are <laughs> their chances of making it? They're like 13, 14. They've been um, boxing. It was like four. I don't, them niggas ain't doing I don't, shit. I don't think uh, they're gonna make it very far. Reason why is because they're gonna be burnt out too quick. Are they? And I want. I mean, they've been you know. like they, like they trained each other, and oh, now yeah. they're getting to the point where they're like they're of age. They're Junior Olympics are coming up for them soon. It's, yeah, like that's like that's cool and all, but it's like you're taking away the fun of what it is to be a professional. As a kid, you should be, you know, coming with your bag, be leaving stuff at home. You know, getting in trouble because you like fast. That's what Deuce was on, right. boy. But it's like yeah. that's not what's going on. I left, my, I left my shoes at home. Deuce like, was on that every. Yeah. Oh, my mouth yeah. guard. But now that that's not the case. Now yeah. these like these, that, yeah, this is what they do. No, these kids now are like you know they're getting taken care of like professional. Somebody carrying a bag, his cameras rolling. They shouldn't have none of Damn, that. Damn, it's AAU. you boxing. Yeah, they need to learn how to love the social art. Social media, man. Social media is ruining this because that's how like, I know them off Instagram. Now they just want to do shit because the cameras going or just yeah. constant. No, no, nah, I, I, well, I don't. I don't see them moving. Is there is there room for people to? to kind of move that way and be, be successful. Because like he said, AAU, there is room. Obviously, AAU kind of changed the landscape because you can be a, like a supreme AAU athlete and go to the league and do yeah. well. Is there room in boxing for people to kind of to be like to be like the, the to be like exposed like that and then be successful in a professional environment? Is it's there back, room it, for them to do that? It backfires because the amateurs is not the professionals. Okay. So, like, with basketball, it's a little different. You can take that finesse over to professionals and you used to play in the team aspect. So, you're always going to try to look – you're only going to look as good as your team looks. In boxing, either you fucking got that shit or you don't. But worst case scenario, they find out underneath them lights. And that's oh, what usually man. happens. Mm. And you get knocked out and everybody see yeah, it. Not only oh. that, you, even if you win, if you just you, – if you look uh, if you look amateurish. Going potatoes, you can – yeah, yeah like, no, they uh Like, Floyd had that kid who just turned pro. Mm -hmm. He shouldn't have turned pro yet. You still need another two or three years of filling out. Because here's the thing, once you get to the top, there's nowhere else to go. Mm -hmm. So can't you can't go, be turning down fights and saying, I'm not ready, or I don't yeah. want to fight this person, no. What's your, what's your take on that, Sims, too? Just all this, like, you know, I ain't going to fight so-and-so, or the, the, yeah. the bag ain't right, or, yeah. you know what I mean? I feel like back well, in the day- When you a top dog, was, you can play them games. Yeah. But I feel like they, they play them now- more than ever. I mean, like Devin Haney and like Shakir Stevenson and all that. Yeah, what's like going a, on like with Frank that? Frank Martin. I mean, they that's what they do. That's your op out is you say this person will have a big following or you don't sell enough tickets. That's how people get around fighting me. Me, I've never really turned down any fights. I've signed contracts to fight Dave Morrell, uh, Munguia, and that was their out. He don't never have enough sales. The two losses I got is because I didn't turn down the fights. First one, I lost to Angulo, split decision. My last, not my last fight, but my second. Uh, yeah, my last fight, I fought with a broken kneecap. I couldn't knock him out in the eighth round. I lost a close decision. But it's like I didn't turn my collar down. That's that's what boxing is. When they call you when they call your name, no excuses. You can't say my knee hurt or this hurt. That's what boxing is. It's not football, basketball, ain't no timeouts, no breaks, no season. Boxing year round. So if you're a real boxer, you that's why they say stay ready so you ain't gotta get ready. Nobody wanna hear about well, I ain't been in the gym. Phrase. I ain't ain't been this, I ain't been that no. What they do is they wait to see you not posting or not doing something. That's when they call you to like this person's yeah. out of shape. He ain't putting up content. Mm. He got and then, that beer belly oh, right now. It's call content that nigga. stuff, man. I mean, it's annoying. I mean, just because it's not on social, yeah. just because I'm not putting on social media. Let's, Don't okay, mean I'm not working. Let's be honest. The people that live the most post the least. Facts. Fair to say. That's fair. Hey, I be I be so I be living Makes so sense. much life. I be like, man, I'm not even on my phone. If I'm not enjoying life, my eyes on the yeah. swivel, so I'm really not, yeah. you know, on my phone like that. But 
man, I just had to come back. It brought me around full circle. The farther I got away from Indianapolis, the more I realized I was Indianapolis. And I was trying to get away from it in L.A. <laughs> that's a fucking, that's a fucking bar. He hey. gonna tweet that. <laughs> 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 that is a fuck. I love Indianapolis to my heart. Hey man, and my I love it too, core man. And my I love now. Soul. And that's a fucking bar right man, there. Man, hey, I'm telling you, I packed up my car, wow. and packed up my Beamer, and drove to in, drove to uh, L.A. It's like 29 hour drive. And it's like, you know, I didn't want to be from Indianapolis. You know, people don't anymore. do that no more. No, they don't. They used to be, you I know, didn't. my mother did that as a child. No. And my mother did that a couple years ago. Drove all the way to hey, California. But people don't trip. do that no more. Mm. I, I, like, I just, I was like, man, I want to be from Indianapolis. I would never. But the farther I got away from it, the more I realized, like, I'm, I'm Indianapolis. I'm the only yeah. Indianapolis driver license plate out here. Only person yeah. they talk, like, the only person they say, like, what's happening? You got what's happening? Oh, we got your heart and soul. I'm, I'm what's the, happening? I'm, I'm That's the only that person. shit. So it's just like, um. I got away from it. I met uh, I met Mike Epps at a concert. And he's like, "What's up, Naptown?" And I'm like, "Man, why you call me Naptown all the time?" I'm like, nigga, you know my name. He said, and he's like, "Because you don't need to forget. Like, you need to put on a coach jersey. You always wearing L.A. shit. Put a Pacers jersey on." But now it makes sense. Like the farther I got away, it made me realize like I'm Nap, no matter where so I go. So grab the Anthony Richardson. Yeah, yeah. Anthony, grab it. Hey, man. <laughs> grab your Richardson jersey. I got, I got one more nerd question. Got you What's a disc on? if you want it. Um. <laughs> Spence Crawford too. Does it happen? If it does, is the outcome different? It shouldn't happen. I don't think it should either. It shouldn't happen. Though. Crawford, me honest, Spence is uh, Spence should walk away from boxing. He's made enough money, yep. and unfortunately, um, I say about a good five, ten years of his of his career got taken off in that was accident. Was the accident? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. Yep. So I respect yeah. him. He did his thing, but he should walk away from it. So he yeah. can walk away with with. What's so, left? But yeah, what's left and like and your dignity, dignity, and, and feel that way. And it feels like he wants to have it again because he he didn't go the way he wanted to. Yeah, but it's not. As, I mean. It's not his fault. You think about it. Practice don't make perfect. Practice mm-hmm. makes permanent. He been practicing. That's a fact. He been practicing. Ms. Brown told me that in the fifth grade. Hey, I always man. stuck with me. It's Practice make permanent. He been practicing north and south. You see how they work out. They work slow. Boom. And they start moving this way. Hey, he just do this forward and inwards. He changed them angles on that nigga. He didn't know what to do. You see Crawford. You see Crawford work. He got three coaches. That's three different perspectives. South Paul pressure and going by. A boxer. You're one trick pony. A boxer. It's like um, it's Antonio Margarito, but he's hey, black. I hey, hate to man, say that like that, but uh, hey. it's Antonio Margarito. You really black. like you're really like a student of the. I love yeah. people oh, that are like students. Whether Antonio it's music Margarita. or sports, I, I told people this is going to happen. That shit. Man. I was like, if you want to see the outcome of a fight, all you do is look at a prior fight from back in the day that looks like that fight. History repeats itself, and you don't know it's history. It's crazy. All Errol Spence is, is what he's a haggler who's not as elusive, Mm-mm. and all Car- Terence Crawford is is an Aaron Aaron uh, uh, Aaron Pryor. Wow. He can go south for other docks. He can go here. He's all he's 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 a badass kid that fights. That's all. That's yeah. facts. Wow. <laughs> he's a nigga with an IP. That yeah, hey, uh-huh. He's boxing. a badass kid that can fight with a high IQ. That's somebody not to be fucked with. Not and, 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 <laughs> and, 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 and what they're gonna do? Wow. They're gonna make sure they keep this person off TV. Yeah. He's a swamp man who lives with his married wife and his five kids. They do not want you to see that. They want you to see. Like motherfucker would change, and it, that was the, that was the point. Like, yeah. Leading up to the fight, crazy. Crawford was not chosen by a lot of people because no. Errol Spence was flashier. Flashier, oh, why? Spence got him. He got him. He looked Spence. He's gonna go up and fight Canelo. Who? I but. mean, it depends if he's fighting, um, you know, the bad chicken, the bad beef Canelo, or what? <laughs> you know, Clubetta Ross, steroid yeah. up Canelo. I'm gonna be honest. Everybody's really dirty in the game. That's why I decided to just open up my own promotion because. It's like nobody's honest, man. Hey, man, shout out to Nap Time, right? Hey, man. Fuck this is shit. real. Hey, this is real. Hey. It's, 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 it's great. I'm not. Is the, it's great. Is, the, is the doping testing super, like, extensive in boxing? I'm not too familiar. Man, it's like. Or can you beat it? I'm you saying can, niggas oh, can beat it. You can beat it. Politics. Wow. Oh, so if they, say you, saying, they say you beat it, you beat it. I'm not saying Manny Pacquiao was doping. I'm saying that where there's smoke, there's fire. And that was a conversation for a long time. He might not have been. I can't speak on that, but yeah. Fact. <laughs> I can't speak go. on that, but yeah. Respect. I'm going to be honest, though. It's like if you, if you look at some fighters, you'll never think like Tyson Fury tested positive for steroids. Uh, Ant- Antonio Tarver, Roy Jones. All these fighters. Y'all must have forgot. Body hit. Shout out to Roy Jones. Y'all must Y'all have must forgot. forgot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man, um, hey, man, this is fire because we talked to you. Six years ago, five yeah, years ago, it's crazy. Yeah. And I felt like at that time you were you were in a place where you were like perfecting where you're sitting at, like right now. Like yeah. you, the the energy you possess is like different. I appreciate it, man. I was um, it's like my 
I thought I knew everything, but it's like shit. I can't. I, I ain't know. I don't know everything. I ain't seen everything. My, no, my nose, my nose, and my face. I can't even see it. But hmm. I swear, I know. I see everything. We always think we know everything right. as a younger man. Man, not. I just feel like um, motherfuckers don't want to tell you shit because you know the game is to be sold, not to be told. But certain shit you shouldn't make people pay. You no know, pay for to learn. Mm -hmm. For yeah. what? So you can. So I can watch you bump your fucking hair. Watch you struggle. Yeah. No, nah, Indianapolis is like, you know, brothers want you to do well, but not better than them. It's unfortunate. That's crazy. But that's what it is. Sick. So it's like, I can hear you doing well, and I'd like to hear you doing better business. than me, though. Yeah. yeah. So it's like, I want, you, I want to help you to Oh, you talk extent. to who? Oh, he don't really fuck But I just want to help you to you know, this extent. To my extent. Yeah, so A little like bit behind my, my extent. No, like, my boys, I want y'all to have the same shoes, the same everything I have. That's the, you look at them 80 pictures, you can't tell who the dope boy is. Everybody got big ass fat gold chains. Everybody mm -hmm. like they eating. Everybody look happy. Mm -hmm. like, everybody eats, B. Everybody. But it's like everybody eats. Everybody, man. Everybody has to eat. So it's like, how about I create my own promotion opportunity? And just for the city. Like I grew up in all these programs that that make me what I am. Hundred black man. C O D. Dang. Like this is what shout I shout out C O D. Yeah, shout out Hundred city. Black Man. Wow. Yeah. I've been in programs hey, too, man. Hundred Black Man, C O D, Riverside, Crystal Moore House. Like the farther I got That's away from that, I'm all bits and pieces. Of, of, of nah, it really is for sure. Yeah, I'm, I'm out in any like I'm out in LA. We had a Freddie Gibbs concert. I'm like, damn. We backstage with him. She, she tattoos Freddie. Like, she, they're good friends. Wow. Wow. So me and her sit with Freddie. Shout out to Gibbs, man. Yeah. These two groupies. Rappers, man. <laughs> yeah, fuck! Yeah, Freddie Gibbs, man. Fuck with Gibbs, man. Are, hey, oh, yeah. If, if, hey, Freddie cool as fuck, man. Man, Freddie I might even cold, cold, man. Yeah. <laughs> I love that shit. I know that nigga's on power. Hey, she took me backstage, and we got he the, uh, about got what the kick with and talk with him, man. Yeah, it's just, he don't write shit. Really? Just go in no, there. That's just, crazy. Hey, do that shit. The way in which that's he that flows, that's the person to hear. Gary shit. He, he was sleep the whole concert rapping. Mm. His eyes is closed on stage just rapping. He sleep. Hot. He sleep. It's crazy. That's, Shout out to Gibbs. The way in which Freddie raps, the Shout he doesn't Gibbs, write that man. down, it's kind of crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. Oh, it's he, he goes at a pace. Because I'm like, how did you even think of that? Yeah, that's exactly. Crazy. Wow. I'm really trying to bring like shit to the city. I'm trying to get Bootsy Collins to walk me out. Oh, really? Bootsy's right here in Ohio. He is. Yeah, so I've been, I've been, yeah, so I've been writing his, uh, his wife. His wife runs everything. But if I can get Boosie Collins to come in and do some shit, we got Steve Jefferson as the announcer. Yeah, I remember Steve Jefferson used to work the news. I, I, know. Know. I do remember Steve yeah. Jefferson. I'm tired of these flies, this country ass town flying down my mouth. Yeah. Oh, yeah. him? Yeah, his black ass. <laughs> <laughs> that, that black ass nigga. Yeah, right. That's crazy. <laughs> so we got Steve as uh, the announcer. Fucking country ass. That's yeah. He probably got Fucking, some bars for you. Oh, man. We just, now we just want to find uh, you know someone to sing the national anthem. If anybody has. Boosie like, Collins is crazy. Hey, man, that's what I would love to get. That. But, Something else I would like too. There's some, there's some, there's some voices in the city. That's what I want. Voices. Somebody, if you want to do like a halftime show, I say I want somebody that people walk by. Can I do a shameless Naptown plug? You should holler, holler at B Swift. Fuck B Swift. B, where B Swift at right now? He, where he at Lafayette Mall? He uh, nah, he was just at the event did. I went to. He was at the uh, the Black Brew Fest. I talked. I talk, I've been talking to Swift like B Swift available. Every two oh, days. He's not for the national anthem. He's, yeah, he don't sing. I was just singing the national anthem. No. I know some young ladies who was in the. That's city. I know some voices in the city. But, like yeah, I want to find saying. somebody who yeah. um like somebody you'll walk past and like. And, and then they start seeing me like, oh my god. I seen some you names. Know, some good Yeah, Larea Turner will be some, hard. Somebody, somebody Larea Turner. Turner will be cold. Hey, uh, Taylor Deshaun. Find me somebody big. Leah B. Music. Right. Find me a big girl, a big dude that can blow. That's okay. Yeah, find big me somebody that can blow. I got an auntie that'll yeah. tear that shit down. For sure. I want somebody <laughs> just, <laughs> <laughs> hey, all they been need is just a platform. That's all they need, that's man. All, that's all they need, man. It's the platform, hey, man. The platform and he just want a real, say, he want a church voice. Hey, this. He, want, he wants to die for I, I want some, sure. I want some pain. That's Diabetes. what I want here, man. Yeah. Diaphragm. Gotcha. Nah. <laughs> hey, you can't. <laughs> he he hates fat diaphragm. people. Him. He hates fat people. I want to know that, man. Oh, man. Hey, man, shout out. <laughs> Jay, you do that every time. Oh, man. Man. That's what he be on. He yelled diabetes and I wasn't on that. What could you have possibly meant on? You yelled this at him? He just said diabetes. He just That's said diabetes, yeah. And honestly, and fat people aren't the only people to get diabetes. Nope, I know skinny is diabetes. They're not. But they... Hey, I'm cool with big people. My only thing is, like, don't have your body all in my motherfucking seat on the plane. That's, That's a fact. That's all I'm cool. I don't, I don't, don't know, know if you can say that. You can't say that no crazy, no. Ass, you can't. You can say that. <laughs> you can say that. <laughs> Can I say this? <laughs> can I, the arm rest is up. Trust me. It's can I say this? There was a, a there was a there was a video on the internet and you tagged me in it, where nigga said, "I don't want to take him out to eat before fucking," and everybody said, "This nigga's on bullshit," but not because he was on bullshit. As far as like, I don't take you on days before fucking. They're only on bullshit because he was fat. Yes, that's the only uh, reason. He's fat and unattractive. He's both. That was the only reason he because up. he's fat. Yeah. 
People hate fat people. Hey, fat man. people is the most. A, a lot of relationships though didn't work through COVID though. Yeah. Hey, but some real a lot relationships of things didn't work through COVID. Some real relationships came out Champ. of COVID. We a COVID relationship. Oh, yeah. shout out to y'all, Damn. man, making it through the hey, mask and all. Four years strong, man. That's beautiful. That's, That's crazy. That's Put it up. Hey, when did y'all decide to take the mask? In the house with Thought somebody. When did y'all decide to take the mask off? The mask. What mask? The COVID what mask. mask. That's a double. Oh, that's a double I'm entendre. Say, I'm like, hey, what you want, my yeah. brother? <laughs> 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 hey, whoa. I wasn't on mask. that, champ. I'm, like, I'm talking about the COVID mask, <laughs> man. What did he say he wasn't on that? Yeah, <laughs> he don't know. I'm on that. Hey, you know, crazy part is like, I understand about the variant being around and like getting people sick, but if you're breathing in this mask, it's just carbon you're breathing in, so you're really killing yourself. There's a there's a there's a belief in that. Yeah, yes, it's what you're telling all day, pretty much. Nigga, we made it. I mean, you think did. about it. In order, the first thing you need every day in order to function, to function one hundred percent, is proper oxygen intake. Yeah. Once you put that mask on your face, you just dumb yourself down each day. There's a, you know, your Apple Watch. It, it can show you what your uh, oxygen level is. Mm-hmm. Right. You look at it. People with the mask on your oxygen level look 60, 70 percent. He's a world class athlete. Though. I'm on, more apt to believe him. No, these are facts. Hey, I don't wear masks. You sound better than the conspiracy theorists. The conspiracy theorists nigga who say you breathe in and out and it's just going back in. I'm like, nigga, shut up. No, no. these are facts. You can look at your oxygen and take on your. Yeah, he's with it. One Feel good. do it too. Yep. No good. Hey man, Mr. T boys, hey man, man, round of applause Get for the champ for being here. Anthony, oh, man. Man. Thank, thank you, thank you, the champ, man. You drop a lot of gems again. This is crazy, man. My bad. Naptown, Roma, December 9th, man. Arsenal Tech High School pull up. It's that's, gonna be fire. That's it's gonna be my fire. Birthday, I'm I actually wanted to do. Uh, I want to hop on again. We're gonna be back here probably in November. Just you know to promote the fight. So I'm gonna uh, try come to through. Get here as I much as possible. Come hey, through, through, man. I know you got some more questions for me, man. I know you got at least one. You got one because he been asking these music industry questions. I like yours. <laughs> he been acting real ghetto Indianapolis questions. I like yeah, he can't help himself. Hey, you asked me like the. I love this. <laughs> he got on like the uh, the DJ Gino. This is DJ Gino. This is DJ Gino. We gonna be at the Blitz. I fuck man. No, that's it. Uh, that should hit me in the chest. I, this was time I want him at the fight. I want you guys at the fight with your podcast capturing the whole shebang bang. Yeah. Uh, what, 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 what sure. Pull up. Because I'm like, if y'all say certain stuff, like only nap motherfuckers know, like, man, they was fighting like motherfuckers on 16th and Tibbs. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Like, y'all know that. Like, no, you know, that's real. That's though. facts. That's facts. Well, they fighting like some motherfuckers at the new dude, you know? Nah, that's like, yeah. we, we, nah let us know, miss that a word, man. It's, 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 it's up. For sure. You got any uh, questions, industry questions for me? Nah, bo- man, Hey, boxing is just like the music industry. It's, it's, it's completely changed. The more you talked about it, the more it sounds the music industry, man. It does. There's a lot of ditties in that motherfucker. <laughs> hey, but Diddy about to go too. I'm about really? to get him out I'm of here. Oh, I'm about to get him for power. Oh, I'm about to get him. Hey, I'm going to say this, man. When I was like, I'm about to get him. I was like, maybe 13, 14. I'm in, uh, I'm in Vegas at the homie's house, and his dad got a penny on this big, big gangster cat. And he's like, We talking about Pac? And he's like, Yeah, I know who smoked Pac. He's like, A crib smoked Pac. I'm like, well, Yeah, I know who killed Pac. And I just walking around Apparently, here. Apparently, everybody, 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 everybody knew. Everybody knew. Everybody, everybody knew. knew. Nah, they do that, nigga. They wouldn't got May it. said he was in the hotel. Him, he said it was 100 crips in yeah. the hotel. <laughs> ready see, to kill all the bad boy niggas. You see what Keith D said? He said Tupac was breakdancing in the front seat. Yeah, not Man, cool. That, that wasn't cool yeah, at all. Not cool. What? But if you look at the memes, hey. Jaden was in there for giving that neck. That's why. <laughs> that's why, uh, that's if, why he was. If Diddy that's did why he was twerking in the front seat. That damn implicates Biggie, too, don't it? Huh? I feel if, like if, if Diddy did it, Biggie no, had, to, they had to be so, on them. So if you girl, think that Biggie was smart enough to facilitate any of that, no, no offense. This is what my girl said. She said shit. she feel like Biggie found out, just like P Diddy's girl found out. P Diddy's wife, she just show up dead in the car. I'm telling you this, man. L A. If they don't want something to get out, it's not gonna get out. Simple as that. Damn, I always said Diddy killed man, Biggie. I ain't know he killed him because he found Whatever they say, Diddy did. Diddy did, did, did that shit. He did made a lot of money when Biggie died. That's all I'm saying. Hey, I'm, not saying he, I'm not saying something to do with it. I said he made a lot of money when hey, Biggie died. Each so state saying. is his own little world, yeah, man. He literally. made a lot of money when Biggie died. That's all I'm saying. Every day I get, I, I'm at home, I look at Indianapolis News. He be laughing. I, like, I make sure none of my boys is on there. Uh, Every day I look. This right. make sure. Because I, I really love my city, man. Yeah. The farther I got away from We appreciate it, that, like, man. Ain't nothing like the good old Indy. The farther I this got one, away, the I, I'm from the city in the Midwest, best city in the whole world. I mean, world. I've been all around, but <laughs> it's, like, my nigga. it's just something that feels good when I'm about. riding 465 or hit 38th. I'm like, yeah. I, know, I can get wherever I need to get to. Hey, right. quick, 20 minutes. It's a little different now. 20 minutes. 20 minutes, you get anywhere you need to get to in the city, man. It's facts. Facts. How long gonna take? About 20 minutes. About 20 minutes. I'll be there. If there's no construction. You get anywhere. Yeah, it's about 20 minutes. Indy, yeah. Indy, the only place you can leave late and still be on time. Yes. <laughs> the Facts. only place. That's. Facts. <laughs> hey, y'all, y'all yeah. called me. I'm at Culver's. 
I'm like, what you say? It's the day? Which Culver's was you at? I'm at Culver's on like 96th Street. Oh. oh. I can make it from Culver's on 96th yeah. Street. Yeah, yep, right. Hey, yep. boom. He, he knew it. Easy. 20. He said, oh, easy. 20 minutes, bro. Don't worry. <laughs> easy. I can do that. Easy. <laughs> That's, yeah, you can do that. Aside, nah, 20 minutes everywhere. Really you good. her in here for a podcast. She's a big tattoo artist in LA. She tattoos people like uh, like Chris Brown. want to get ink from her. Kevin Garnett. Oh. Her crib. Oh, you're yeah. famous. Oh, uh, pull up. You Y'all come back in November, right? I don't know. I don't know. Are you famous? Yeah, she's being cool about it. Yeah, she is. Oh, she said, I, oh guess, me? I guess yeah, I you. She tell uh, Playboy Cardi. She tell him. She tell uh, his uh, his manager. We go to all the shows because she know the motherfuckers, man. Yeah. That's tight. She know everybody. Yeah, Kalani. Oh. Sounds cool. Oh. I know some of these words. I do. Robert Glasper. Wow. Yeah. wow. And we, just, we just learned about Glasper last yeah, year. Yeah, I just learned about We him? just learned hey, about Glasper. So I picked up a guitar, man. Talented motherfucker Glasper, right he got there. all the songs I like to play too, man. Glasper hey, got... We just learned he about won yeah, that. He sure. won that Grammy. We was like, so who was his brother? What you mean, Robert Glasper and Bilal? He's a real talent. Child's we found talent. out. We said, "Oh, we did. We had him fucked up." Okay, it was us. Oh yeah, you yeah. gotta pull up, man. You gotta pull up. Let's do it. Easy. Let's do it. All right. One more. You got one more. You think anything? I got one more. I thought you got <laughs> sleep, man. I got scared. I, one said, oh, shit. I got one more box question. Go I just want to do your top five boxers ever that you watched growing up. Top five guys. Top five. Uh, I would say. Um, you're your favorite boxer. Not, favorite you gotta boxers? be a top five. Just not a rank, but just your favorite. Favorite boxers would be. Marvin Hagler, I always got to yeah. say that. Marvin Hagler, Sugar Ray Robinson, Ali, of course. Uh, Benny Briscoe. Oh, I've heard and, that name before. Yeah, Benny Briscoe. That's Brisco's cool last name. Dude. Benny Briscoe and probably George Foreman. Benny Briscoe is this cat from, um, he's from. Oh, oh yeah, I almost forgot James. James Tony. Tony. He lived, I've heard of he, James he, Tony. He's he he down the street from me. Hey, James Tony's a fighter. He lived down, he lived down the street. Wow, that's yeah, crazy. James Tony, he's, he's, he's the shit, but uh, probably James Tony and Benny Briscoe, he's this real slick guy from Philly who never really got the acknowledgement he needed, but he fought. He he beat right. the shit out of Marvin Hagler. Marvin Hagler had a hard time with him. You didn't mm. even hear about him, did you? Yeah. Wow, no. no. I ain't no. never heard of him. I'm a boxing guy. I've never heard hey, of him. Hey, man, look up, look up Benny Briscoe. He got big ass head, and he's he just he used to do this the whole fight, and you couldn't hit him. Cause he ball headed, he knew how to move just in time, but the punch would slide damn, off his head. Damn, so I have an advantage, <laughs> man. You do. You do. Can I, I have? I have one more. I have, damn. That's I know. We, I know that was supposed to be the last question. Do you have any desire to be like? I know. Growing up for me, uh, fight night was a big thing. Yeah. Do you have any desire to be featured in like a video game? Or oh, anything? I had a chance to be in a video game. This uh, maybe like when it came out a year ago through Matchroom, but I didn't hop on it. Okay. So that's not something that's super important to you. It was like at the time it, it wasn't. I wish I would have hopped on it, but it's like. Um, right. I don't know, man. I feel like I'm make my. I feel like I can do more hands on than I can ever being on That's a, a video game. I feel like for me, as like an Indiana nigga, yeah. <laughs> I would select you on the game because yeah. you're from Indiana, yeah. and I'm like, Every yeah, time. I'm about to, I'm about to run through the game with my nigga Sims, the magician from Indiana, and we about to beat the whole game. Hey, up. That's how I be. I'm gonna say that's this, what I would do. Naptown, though, like, why I really want to come back is to let my fuckers know. Like especially teenagers, somebody trying to lead a city to do something. Everything you need to experience, to prepare you. I, I I seen it right here in Indianapolis. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like all the politics. That's real, man. Hey, if you can make it through here, you can. You can make it anywhere. Well, I don't know. The clubs don't stay up until five a.m. with free hookah. So it's the thing that hookah stuff. Um, be careful with the hookah, hookah because it's killing you. Yeah. Not, nah, not, not, it's, not it's killing people, you. It's people that smoke hookah. Be like, I don't like motherfuckers that smoke. No, this not that herpes. Oh, oh, Whoa! There's a herpes God. outbreak. I'm not a okay. so, 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 so take a time room minute. I'm about to, yeah, I'm about I'm to let you. Whoa. There's a herpes outbreak through the hookah. This is why. So they clean. They you know they clean the tubes and stuff, but that spit and all that gets down there. They don't really clean it how they're supposed to. Yeah, we so these women sat down. Wow. None of them had herpes, and they got up, and all four of them had herpes after that. Oh! This, now this was the outbreak oh. where in L A. Was it L A. or Atlanta? Texas, Texas, yeah, everybody well, went there. It was party. Atlanta. Here's the Pulled thing. Pulled up, no herpes. Lava, home all herpes. You know how I many people I've been in with Lava, I know this person has herpes. I'm not going to say no name. Oh, I know he has herpes, man. He's been sick passing this motherfucker wow. around because what? I don't have an out outbreak right My now. My brother, if we ever kick it, please tap me on the shoulder. <laughs> hey, bro. Hey, please. Don't that nigga over there that got hooping. that shit. Don't even, you got to tell me why. I just said, don't I mean, just think about it, man. I'm like, okay, I got you. Even hitting the blunts after people sometimes. Like anything yeah, you put in your careful. mouth, you know, that's just why, think about that's it, why man. I go to the car. That's just take, crazy. Take fire in the car. Hey, take care of yourself. And here's the worst part there's people in the city that got in this giving it out and ain't telling nobody. I ain't gonna and say just, a, I ain't gonna say a woman's name, but a woman told me incognito. She was like, uh, "Why would I tell somebody I have it? They know that they wanna they wanna fuck anyways." It's a oh lord, she, oh my yeah, god, yeah, yeah. And it's a family, uh, it's a family it's a member. Mom. I'm not gonna say who, but yeah, 
full blown herpes and say like, these, these motherfuckers ain't asking why I gotta tell them they don't care. Wow. So just say. Hey, even salt look like sugar. Please always ask. Yeah, yeah like it's sugar. crazy. Please, please always ask, out. and if they lie, you can sue them. For yeah. sure. But you still got herpes. Yep, that's the whole point. You well, still I, got it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now you're in the courtroom, bumped hey, but up. I'm be honest. People are acting like it's a regular thing now. It's not. Herpes is not regular. No, no, I think. Not, I think man. that it is. It is not chlamydia, my boy. They're trying, this, to, they're trying to normalize. I don't have. Trying to normalize. Yeah. Yeah. I think the worst. Yeah. And there's something I don't have, and something I, I don't the want. But I think the worst I part know. of. I think the <laughs> worst part of herpes, herpes isn't going to kill you like AIDS. The worst part of herpes is that you have to tell people that you have herpes. It's the return of you forever. You think it's the worst part? No, I think the it's worst the part of herpes is the actual, the actual, the, the shit I don't you got in your mouth. Said, oh, he died from herpes. You ain't gonna die, but I feel like it hurt. It ain't fun. Yeah, can't be. Can't be a good time. I don't Last from my understanding, it's like. From your you break out every now. And then. I don't think it's going. I think there are worse diseases. So you willing to risk it? No. Yes, he is. He'll risk it. I'm just saying. I'm just Damn, in the fine. base. In the base, the simplest, the simplest thing on. of like, it. The simplest way I can put it is the worst part of herpes is you got to tell motherfuckers you got herpes, and then they're gonna shun you. You have to deal yeah, with nah, being shunned. Yeah, for sure, it's leprosy for herpes. sure. But herpes not. You're not gonna die. Y'all need to do a show on that shit. Right you're not gonna die from herpes. Be shunned. Shun them. I don't. I never know nobody say. Yeah, he had. Hit an aggressive form of herpes. <laughs> <laughs> it don't happen. You know, that's all I'm saying. He took him out. He didn't. Make I don't. It. I don't want. It. I don't think anybody wants it. But I think if you do, yeah. you gotta like, argue. You gotta argue with who you gave it to. It was, you gotta tell everybody moving forward. And I think that's the worst. It thing. was the cold sword that took him out. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 With that, you made it. we saw. We sword. remember. Easy. Easy. He had that AIDS, and he was. It was. Who you? Who you think gave it to him? I don't, I don't know. It was somebody. They stuck him with that needle. Exactly, <laughs> was right. was I, I wasn't hey, there. Bro. I have no idea. Yeah, he was calling. We, we are saying he was calling mad magic. Tell me how to get rid of it. Magic. Tell me what I can do with magic. Said, Click. Bone. <laughs> hey, bone marrow transfer. Magic said. That's what they said. How he got it? No, that's how you get rid of it. Bone marrow transfer. That's how you get rid of AIDS. Yeah. Look at you. You thinking about it? You think about it? I just, <laughs> <laughs> like, I know I'm just I'm not really a, a, I'm a, I don't You say that But Dr. Sebi said no, You, you, eat, you, a, gotta, you, you, gotta, you gotta, eat a million and one Blue grapes And he won't You know what I'm saying No you gotta um, Nobody okay. die from AIDS no more Cause yeah. Sokovia They but got all is, that shit But Who died from It is fucked up because home. With these diseases And they probably do And honestly Knowing the government Nobody good insurance out I mean the government Probably knows everything But it's way more profitable To treat than to cure. Oh yeah, yeah for, for sure. everything. Yeah. So we know how that goes. Hey, supply and demand. Yeah, yeah. I, don't, I don't want nothing with a commercial, man. <laughs> yeah. Hey, LA, LA, LA full, yeah. full of them. I said, what are they riding bikes for? Talking about really our breakouts come next. Yeah, it's, it's like, anything nah, nah. with that little filter. I get offended when they send me a commercial. In, like, why is, I don't why want is it. my ad? Cute? Why are you showing me the commercial? Yeah, why is this on my? You gotta explain it to kids too. Like they shouldn't have to worry about this. And you're not. And you're. And y'all are not. Six hundred thirty thousand people died from AIDS last year. We're here. In the world, oh. and you gentlemen are not like in the position to where y'all are like single or don't have like a significant other. For me, being single, totally if you go to like a girl house and they show like that commercial, that it kind of I feel like she got. Oh, you got the, why are they showing yeah, you? Why is this? In why your, they showing this on your TV? Why is this your algorithm? I need to go home. Yeah. This fucking sucks, man. I mean, man, being in the streets is a is a gamble. Like being I'm trying to get out the streets, man. man. You better, dog. I'm in the house every day. I'm, I'm cool. I'm trying to get out the streets, man. I want to be cool. No, I, no, no, look, no. I want to. This should no. be real. I know. I want, I like want to be out the streets, but it's only a couple people that's gonna get me out the streets. So, so it's only like four of y'all. Rescue you want to be real? Me. Yeah. You want to be real? <laughs> it's, 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 I can make that happen. It's only we about four. Give him a dating show. He wasn't hey, about it. It's, it's, it's only scared. about four of y'all. Oh, he's scared there's, of a dating show. Yeah, there's a number one seed overall, but there there are some underdogs who can win. I would like to get out of the street. Oh, hook up a little Chinese lady in L.A. That's all I'm saying. Rough madness on the way. Take me out the trap. Who are them top four seeds? Hey, question, question, man. I know you uh, <laughs> I know you a big Crit fan. Oh, yeah, yeah. You fuck with Crit? Yeah, I went to, uh, he's, he's a homie of mine. I went to a couple of his concerts. I've been, I seen Crit live, too. That's yeah, when nice, We man. saw him at the Crit concert. Yeah. We did. Where? Oh yeah, the one in uh, here. Oh, national. Yeah, yep. the one in yeah. National. I don't remember. Years she was ago. there too. Really? 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 Oh no, no, she was. It, it we was, were all no, there. It was me and Big oh, U. No, gotcha. it was me and Big U, the, my uh, big Mexican. Oh yeah. 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 No, we went Shout to the crib, man. I want to ask you what's your favorite crit project. My favorite crit song is um. I just want to meditate. Oh. That's oh, that song yeah. crazy. They love that show. Yeah, Matt takes a good one. It's meditate, very man. fire, man. He got and Crit has real. so many. Crit has so many. I don't. I've never have been like. 
I don't. I never thought Crip was gonna be the biggest rapper in the world. No, but he, he could be. He just has so many songs that speak to me as an individual. Yeah, and yeah. That's yeah. why it hits for me. No, Big Chris one of my favorite. His song, of all time. his song ain't uh, it ain't mainstream type of song because everybody can't relate to it. No. You, you gotta, you have to bend through it. Either the South, Midwest, or somewhere where it's yeah. hot and funky to know what he's talking yeah. about. Yeah, I got this party here tonight. What you mean? He's one of the most talented artists out there. Yes. for me, I love. Oh, Big I like energy too. Energy's oh, great yeah, too. Banana clip there, yeah. You in the trenches yeah. with yeah. that? The same yeah. Wow. Yeah. Hey, people don't. The fair the weather fans ain't crazy. never spun that banana clip there. We about wow. to play that on the way out of here. Actually, yeah. you on some other shit. I fuck with I you. I appreciate you. Wow. Banana clip three, crazy. Can you remember that time? It's a really good album. Very good. Can you remember? The, remember they said okay. he called me out. Remember the albums. remember the remember the snippet that never came out. With him and uh, Future. Yeah, it's yeah. fire. Never came out. Yeah. Shout out to Crip, man. He be talking about, like, wow, why are you rapping about me, my nigga? It's crazy. Real. Banana Clip Theory crazy. He ain't dropped in a minute. Hey, it's man, rap applause, Andy Sims Jr., man. Remember that last shit was weak. Came oh, back man. to the pregame podcast. Get down with Came back and he'll be back. Legendary. Spin the block is legendary wow. for us, man. Hey, that shit was so, crazy. What? You, you, I, I feel like you came in here tonight uh, and <laughs> you dropped some gems. You spit some bars. I for the us, belt man. I thought the, the belt, belt was cr- the heavy. belt is the belt had heavy. the twenty. Can you get the belt on camera one good time? The belt had the twenty four K go on. It came in the stainless steel box. Yeah, the the, the, the uh, suitcase that came in is crazy. The champ is here. The champ is here. All the way from Dubai, baby. Yeah, that's crazy. Uh, yeah. Shout out to Dubai. Champ I know you had to cover yourself yeah. up out there. Yeah. That's no, I did it. She did though. That's enough. I bought me a full this head thing crazy. though. You did. You had to cover crazy. yourself up. You had to like be real conservative no. out there. She she like she forget that. Hey, I, I bought me like I a want. full body one and went to the I went to yeah. the L A. Mall. They didn't like me. I don't like Dubai. No. That's fair. Yeah, that yeah. shit weak. That I, shit I, hard. I had the whole thing on, man. What's the what crazy. is on? Shout out to the Cortez. That's crazy. Hey, that's and that's real. That ain't gonna be on the dope. There's so much weight. That ain't no Lafayette Square gold. So much weight. So, <laughs> it's gold. My Lafayette Square gold turned to copper. I was upset. My grill changed yeah. on me. My Washington Square, my Washington Square gold lasted for a minute that I had. But yeah. hey, man, if y'all get the chance to go, you ain't to go out to California, man. I'm going. I've been, I'm going to, I've been, I've been to California three when? times in February. When? February, like the second week of February, we're going to LA. Me and my pops, and my okay. brothers. Hey, man, hey, man, That's tight. That's tight. The yeah. food, the food week out there. What? Uh, <laughs> hey, I've been to, what? I, I've been to California three times. Where'd you, been, where'd you go? I've been to LA. I've been to the Wait, Bay, San Francisco, and San Jose. There, it's a and discussion been, worth having. And, I'm concerned. And I've been to, yes, and I've been to San concerned. Diego. San Diego had the best food out of three. Did y'all go to the hood? What? Y'all being scary. Ain't about I wanted that. to go. The, when I suggested going to the hood, my family said, "What did y'all say?" I want to go to Roscoe's. I'm about to, I'm about to show you something. Comfortable familiar with. Yes. See, they didn't want to go to the hood. You didn't like Roscoe? Yes. No, I went to Roscoe's no, on said, Melrose. We're going to so North Hollywood, imagine, Roscoe. Imagine if a nigga came to your city and said, oh, I ain't want to get no, I ain't with the Longs, man. Longs in the hood. I went to go get the other shit. And they said, yo, don't do it. I went no, to Jack's. Jack's, Jack's, Jack's been 86. To, I've been to the Melrose, Roscoe's several times, and I want to go back for that one because I don't experience it. What about the other spots, though? Yeah. Never been but there. When, I, when I suggested, and this is a family story, when I suggested going to the Inglewood, Roscoe's. Uh-huh. They, they looked look, crazy. They looked at me like I said some bullshit. You gotta, you gotta stop going to Roscoe's because this is going on. Cause y'all still doing chains, huh? Y'all still doing like the big boy, right? the, yeah. little, the little spots. You, every time you go to Roscoe's, you take a chance, especially if you're going there looking good or if, like if you're known. When you go to yeah, Roscoe's, that's where. Uh, oh yeah, homeboy got uh, killed from Philadelphia. Yeah, mm-hmm. PNC man, Rock. Uh, PNB Rock. PNB Rock. So what happens is when, when you go inside these restaurants, relaxed. usually somebody works there, call one of their little hit boys and be like, hey, so-and-so yeah. is here. He just came in here. That's why they're getting there so That's quick. crazy. Mm-hmm. Let alone putting it on your, your story. That's why yeah. I don't put where I'm at no more on my story yeah. because they'll pull up. Think about California, you can't you can't take the you can't take the strap. Like if I if I was to go to like Atlanta or to like Memphis. You want to taste some good food? What type I could, of food? I could like, take like, like the like, pistol out there though. Like salmon, like what y'all what y'all into steak? I just like I don't care what I'm down to try the, whatever. The best food I've ever had. I'm talking about like Cuban steak, my fungo. Right. What would we yeah, have? some mofongo. Let's, Let's go. go. I've had mofongo before. Okay. I fuck with it. She cook. She watch all the shows and cook all that shit. I bet That's you go crazy. I believe you. What you you know what? My new uh, my new kick right now is where, wherever my I go. New kink right now. My new kick. kink. Right? Oh, kick. Okay. I thought my new kick. kick right now is <laughs> if, yeah, when I good. when I start get back traveling again, I want to try the Peruvian food wherever I go. Try gotcha. per, try Peruvian. You need to try. I heard green, try big, Korean barbecue. Huh? Korean barbecue fire. Korean Kore- barbecue? I fuck with Korean barbecue, but, have you but Korean I have I have though? Peruvian food has like I've had Peruvian food here. I've heard there's fire. a big Peruvian uh, uh, population in DC. I need to fuck. I've never been in DC. You should go to DC. I need DC to fuck fire. With it. 
I know a young lady I went to high school with lives in DC. I think Shady out there. Shout out to Shady. She in DC too. Shout out to Shady the artist. I can't do all the dancing. Everybody moves too fast. Are oh, you not? You not with the go-go shit? <laughs> no, I'm cool. Wale I'm just dropped on you too. Wale, he still doing music? He did a he single. He got a song. I thought he dropped the album. He lied to me. Definitely lied. I said he was bad. I was like, what album? I feel like we jumped to that conclusion. Yeah, that was my fault. I did it to myself. We jumped to that conclusion. I did it to myself. We should have known it was a single. He's was... still in the 2000s thing. You got to drop it's singles. Drop an album, bro. <laughs> Wale. He he talks too much in the beginning of his songs for me though. I can't do it. He will he will whisper to you. He'll drop a poem before he <laughs> yeah. starts rapping. For and sure. I just want to let Facts. you know, like no man, I fuck with Wale. I fuck with MMG Wale the most. Who? Um, MMG, MMG Wale. Wale. I used to fuck with Eminem. New Eminem now. I don't know. <laughs> cleaning sure. out my cleaning out my closet is one of the best songs I've ever heard. Hell yeah! I, I feel like um, like what's his name? G something. G Easy. Yeah, G Easy and like all these other corny cats. Logic. Oh. I like logic. I like logic. I like, I like logic. White, okay, I'm black. Cool, cool, cool. I don't know what I am. I, I, like, I like logic, logic, but like the logic now, I can't. Yeah, it's different. Yeah, it's different for who's sure. The, like, who's like, the best interracial interracial rapper ever? Jermaine Cole. Oh yeah, he is white and black. Jermaine. Oh, I guess Drake too. Damn. Or Oz. That's, no. that's what I was gonna say. I thought you. And you that's mean, crazy you mean because like, Drake, because J Cole, I wasn't thinking of as J Cole in that environment. But J. Cole you're right. is definitely in it's, it's definitely yeah. it's J Cole the and Drake. Inter- my bad. Interracial rapper. I was. Damn, I just gave J. Cole the whole or Aubrey, Yeah, man. he's mixed. One or the other. J. Cole just as mixed as Drake is. No. Just as. Wow. Yeah. Common. Common mix? I ain't know that. Oh, no, uh, Drake, and, yeah, yeah, Drake common. and J. Cole is. rap better than Common could ever rap. And I love Common. What? Hell no. <laughs> you crazy. Not common not common is out. one of the most. <laughs> <laughs> what, are you serious? No. <laughs> he said Drake is better out. than Common? Common has a better album than Take Care? Hell yeah. What is it called? B. Yeah, B's. Really I fuck good. with B, man. No, it's not don't even don't start talking. To B. You know what? You're right. B. I fuck with B, man. Yes. Let me ask you. Let me ask you I'm sorry. Faithful, testify. Faithful, crazy. Drake got a B faithful. Crazy. Does he got a faithful? Uh, shot, oh, shot for me. Lord no. knows the ride. You know what? What are we talking about? I used to love her. Drop the mic. You don't know I used to love I, her. I do, but I I don't I, I think that a lot of I think the com B's I think crazy the com- okay. What about this album. common world? His music Drake didn't write I think, damn I think, song. No, Drake didn't. Only proof we have is Drake didn't write energy. What if I tell you? What if I tell you out there? And I'm telling you that none of these motherfuckers like a movie. They don't create the movie. They act it out. They don't uh, write their songs, man. They just, the Drake shit. The Drake shit is no. You. I don't think you're wrong. Okay, I just, I just you know, know what? I don't know the comment. I got a real problem with you right now because, like, whoop this nigga ass. You gonna, you gonna comment is not the guy. Hey, I, I feel like, right? So, are you gonna paint your fingernails? No, I'm not a bitch. You agree with that? No, I'm it's not, not even about that. It's just like, you agree with that? No, it just looked like I think bro, the niggas can do whatever the fuck they want. I wouldn't, I wouldn't wear no Adidas shoes. That don't make Adidas is cool, but I'm talking about painting I'm your nothing. fingernails. Like, I would never like do females that. do. I would never do that. All right, we cool then. I'm not having nothing against that, but just like you, like. That's not my style, yeah. but I don't I don't necessarily typically judge niggas. For I don't that. judge, but it's like, what do you? It's like, trying, what are you? What are you what yeah, what are you trying what to say? That? Because men have, <laughs> men have never done that. <laughs> what do you mean by that? So you got these rainbow fingernails, niggas and rainbow doing clips. That. Andre three thousand did that. Andre three thousand. Andre, 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 like Andre, Andre, Andre though, like that's Andre. He was the one of like that's like Prince and Andre. You put them in that. Yeah. You can't put Drake in that. You can't put him in that same can't. category. You talking about Rick James, Prince, like the. Those two about the actors Drake has like Dennis Rodman. Drake Dennis Rodman. You can't put uh, him in that Drake, group. Drake has more fire albums than Andre 3000. Solo albums. Of course. Yeah, solo okay, albums. solo albums, but it's like you're talking about a different yeah. genre of music. To get I don't know. What, what do you want to win? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know what I'm fighting for. What do you want to win I, here? I struggle. I struggle with bringing up. I struggle with. He want me to punch his ass. I struggle with. Yeah, he did say that time out, time out. He said. He was like, um, you don't like, bring like, Andre Thousand. No, not, not Andre Thousand. Andre hey, Thousand. Drake said, uh, he said like, he's like, you, you like one of the guys you make me buy or some shit. It's like a that. wild bar. Ain't no wild, wild bar. No, you making wild. excuses? <laughs> Hell no. I don't what? condone that bar. <laughs> Get inside of here. I don't. I don't. Man. Your hey. man said that. Though. But if you listen, if you listen to. Uh, equipment eyes one. And he knew what I was saying too. That's the worst part. Yeah, he's ready for it. Yeah, he's hoping he didn't remember. Oh, if you listen to, uh, if you listen lawyer, to, man. if you listen to track two on equipment eye, return of the G, Andre three thousand. Like we don't know about Andre. Is he gay? Or, or, niggas always allude Everybody to being gay. That, of course, a lot of Andre. niggas do that. Like, you know maybe, what I'm saying? Maybe Andre, like, I mean, he's a he's a weirdo. He's always he's been a weirdo, weirdo, but not not Drake, Drake been a weirdo from the jump. Stop. Um, hey, um, why is your Drake, voice, why is your voice cracking Drake about Drake? Drake has he, and he's been weird from the jump. Lloyd, get us yeah, out of here. Right. Oh, man, let's move Please. on, man. So Drake has so no, yeah, bro. so y'all no. thought y'all thought no. this shit corny. was the no. No, <laughs> corny is weird. Two different things, exactly. Oh I, I, okay, that's corny and weird. Did is y'all think this shit was the conversation? 
I never thought that Sit shit. Sit down. I thought it was corny, right? I never Get thought she was here. cool. Goofball. Oh, man. They say, damn, this goofball really nigga did more goofball shit. Day, I really want us to. want to read it again. Yeah. Nah, we're drinking tonight. Nah, but I like a lot of these rappers. Hey, I did like Drake's the album where it's like, I, you, me. Is that the song Camera? What album was that? That's Take Care. That's, uh, no, that's Take Care. Take Care. Take Care, take take care. care is a cool album, but besides that, like, I don't know. She started well, getting no, real Because he's had more hits outside of that. His last album was What happened to Future? Album. He just felt like he just disappeared. No, nah, Future been running it up. Stop. He, he, been, he been dropping shit? So he's, he's just talking. No, he's not running. I mean. Uh, Future been dropping music? The album for Future was in the backseat of the car was hard. I ain't heard like nothing about it. There's one after that, though. Future just dropped the classic. Future. Yeah, Future's classic. Just dropped what? Yeah, Bruh, why you gotta look at your phone for the classic? No, but that's not what he called it. I'm mean, not you. He called it a classic. He said he dropped the classic. He's got, he's a classic. I missed it. What if Future shit is classic? Future what's ain't the, what's the, the album called? In the last nothing. Yeah, it's, I'm drunk. Okay. We know. Yeah. Oh, that's why you arguing like this. He don't fix. Yes. Right. Yeah, 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 man. man I'm drunk. Um, the um. The G Herbo like, and Funny Marco. I like, I, like, I like that one. I like that one. It's a really good that's future. Like two or three years ago. I never liked you. That's not his best album by any means. Do you think it's his best album? I never liked you. I never liked you. By any means. No. It's good though. Lloyd. So, hey man, listen man. Big shout out to Anthony Sims. The thing is, we all like champ. whatever these niggas rap Better about. Mike we all like it. Yeah, we no appreciate you yeah. being here, man. The <laughs> champ here, present the belt like Dubai. Niggas, I don't like when niggas bring up Andre 2000 because he he'll bring up Andre 2000, but he has never listened to equipment on front to back. So I don't. Well, he didn't know where she lived at. So I don't, yeah. So I don't respect his Andre 2000. I, I, was, oh, I didn't say anything about no Andre 2000 tonight. I didn't say anything about him tonight. He didn't know but what you, she did, but you I mean, fucked me up. I mean, prototype You deep is, in your OVO bag. You see how quick he said it? Yeah. What? He, he said, he didn't know where she lives. He said, you said it so quick. Yeah, it's yeah, simple. You know, everybody knows that. I but mean, not, he, he I mean it's okay. It's like, it's one of them, it's one of them, um, it's one of them Music like, the is subjective. you gotta find. We like what we hey, like. We don't like what we don't show, like. If you don't know a lyric that Ruff said, you, you can't like that person. I don't think you can call anything class without knowing a lyric. Well, you call it features album class. You know, no, no, because it can be. That's it, fair. No, no it doesn't it have to be. Dead right. It just happened. If you don't, if you don't know a lyric, that don't mean it's not a classic, though. I just no. I just I feel like I and I feel like this only applies to Andre three thousand. <laughs> what? There are niggas what? that say. What? There are niggas that say Andre. I've heard niggas say Andre three thousand is the top five rapper ever. Yeah. And I say, what makes you think that? And and they go, um, Deuces remakes, uh, Walk It Out remakes. They say that because they like his flow. And that's how y'all say about J Cole and his features. You might be right. They say they but, like his flow. But I'm like, but I'm like, I fuck with Andre 3000 because I've heard Andre 3000 rap on Equimini, on AT Aliens. They on like his flow. Yeah. But niggas that I don't, just like there are some new niggas that would say, wow, KOD is the best J. Cole I ever heard. But I'm like, what you know about Friday smoking, Night Lights? Smoking dicks. They be like, I never heard Friday Night Lights. Well, he he smoking dicks. You know I get up. What you, what, you you know, what you know about Simba? Return to Simba. Oh, we we uh, in there. I'm we saying like, some, people sure. about some people don't know that. Simba. Some people don't know that. Yeah, yeah, we, we, I fuck, we, you talking about the J. Cole, J. Cole track? Fans, Return to Simba? For sure. Yeah, it is a it is one of those that I consider that it it was almost um, perfect. One right? of the four number one seats. Hey, it was mm-hmm. amazing. I, it I, might be one of. I still yeah. listen to that. Hey, it's fire. Lights, wow. please, lights, please. Turn off Jekyll the lights. Hey, Cole, keep a thick bitch like Big Shirley. What? What? Hey, hey, hey. We just we just agreed. Yeah, let's you done, on, man. Yeah, you done. You just did it. We shook up. Fuck it. We done. <laughs> Get out of here, man. Hey, hey man, that time never heard Rumble that. December 9th, man. Pull up Arsenal Tech. I'm definitely going to be tech. there, man. We're going to pull up. For it's sure, a, man. Have you ever been on the campus? No. A tech? No. It's, it's, it's huge, a, it's man. A, it's an army huge. campus. It's, it's beautiful. Army campus. Got it. Yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah, Around it's the talking. corner, um, there's actually a there's actually a YouTube documentary that's um, getting popping now. About uh, this white girl, her name is last name Likens. You got IEP fingers, you know that? I know, right? Yeah. Her, na- her last name Likens, around the corner from Tech. There was this girl who. You be doing music? Her parents. No, I, I'm not, I don't have. You be in his fingers like I don't have any talents. It's crazy. I don't have any talents. You got them right there. No, there's, right there's a documentary that's getting more popular about a girl who grew up around the corner from Tech who um, her parents were in the circus. They left from the care with this other lady who abused her bad. Damn. Had like the neighborhood kids come put cigarettes out on her. Um, My grandma did that to me. 
Yeah, I'm sorry to hear that. My grandmother would never, but I'm sorry yeah. to hear that. My grandmother whooped my ass, hey, but she never, put a, man. she never put a square out on my arm. And I'm sorry that that happened to you. It's cool. Grandma almost got knocked out for that, though. Okay. Oh. <laughs> hey, it's, uh, See, don't be a menace. Well, that's, yeah, that's torture. <laughs> so, that's that's torture. torture. The, chip, the chip early. Yeah, that's torture. Hey, At I, that point, we ain't family no hey, more. You don't care about me. Hey, six years old, care about my, you. my grandma sending me to have go you, get a Pepsi Have you repaired that relationship or you don't care to? Ain't no repairing a cigarette burn. You, I don't think there is. You know what? You're right. That shit did. You know what? You know, forgiveness isn't up to you in some situations. I understand that. Yeah. You know, they tell you, you know, forgive everybody. Certain things and like that. You know, and yeah. that comes from, and that's a generational trauma because older black people tell you are always on that. Forgive. Just forgive them shit. No. They be on that with black people, white people. Here's the mm-hmm. thing. They be like, just forgive you that shit. You can't forgive something you don't understand. I don't understand why somebody would want to put fact. a cigarette on the kid. I don't understand do why anybody would put I need to comprehend Because to me, you seem thing. like a cool motherfucker. I don't know why anybody would want to do something as harmful as putting a hey, man, ass you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't pick who your parents are. You just pick the individual you want to become. I'm glad you made it out that shit, man. That's fire. You stay with some bar. You need to start... Rapping. Yeah, that's some motivation. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wow. Some gems. Oh, don't. You got some fucking gems. Yeah. You got some oh, granny bars. Maybe a green car ride bars. or something. You need wow. to call Hallmark. Yeah. Hey, this nigga hey, talented. That ain't just boxing. Man. This nigga talented. Oh, that man. Is fucked some up, shit make man. you feel like, damn. Not a book show. Be fire. Life, right. Life is Indeed. Um, when the memoirs come the out, we're ready. Fire. Hey, be honest. This be the perfect step to start doing it because I already wrote my book. It's just like as far as like publishing and doing it. It's called Daddy's Devil. Mm. That's a, that's extreme. But I, yeah, but uh, you know yeah, the what? name hard. It's um, you know I'm I'm my I'm my life sum total. So it's like uh, all my experience. I'm just trying to use it. It take one to know one. Yeah, yeah. Wow. You know you know that look from motherfuckers like he a little off. He he need a little help. <coughs> mm-hmm. And they know that look too. So they only respect that look. You mm. know, especially in Indianapolis, this is on beast. Unless you from here, around here, look like here, walk and talk like here, they ain't trying to listen to nothing you got to say. Mm. So it's like shit. Let's go and get him. Next generation. That's real, they man. They just waiting on us. Shit, they looking at us, and it's like, shit, we got to do something, man. I mean, y'all, y'all, y'all set an example. Hey, we in here, we setting things up. I got my own set of my own studio. Motherfuckers usually just talking, be hating, telling you what you should do, and they ain't about to do it. Hey, go do this and do this. What you doing? Mm. Facts. Right. That does happen. For sure. Facts. Man, man, let's get out of here, man. Yeah. Andy Sims Jr. in the building, man. Appreciate y'all. Nah, For appreciate sure. you, bro. For real. Andre Until 3, next time. Andre 3000 to go. Next. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think that you can say that because you heard every song that he ever put out.